Yeah, well, nonsense, so I had to wait for you to finish. Oh, I thought that I was going to do, like, a fucking cold intro. That was your cold intro? Talking, talking about the thing you were playing, which is a segment of the show? Uh, I think that's your cold, cold intro? intro? I think you should keep this into the podcast. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's pretty fucking good. It's so, funny. I was at the thrift store the other day, and I was taking a gander at the t-shirts and the clothing and such. I found this, like, brand new shirt that looks really nice. I'm like, I'm going to buy this. This shirt looks lovely. And it's only, like, you know, eight bucks or whatever to charge you at a thrift store. So I was like, all right, cashier, even though it's self-checkout, ring me up. And then I, I left and I did my laundry. And I noticed there was a, a hard chunk in my shirt. I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. There's no hard chunks in shirts. And then I realized there was a security tag on it. And I was like, thrift stores don't have security tags. How, the, how did this happen? So then I went to Marshall's and I was like, hey, Marshall's, can you, can you take this off for me? And she's like, you got a receipt? I'm like, I, well, clearly I didn't buy this here. I came in with it. And she was like, I don't know. I'll give it a shot. And while I was there, I also bought, I bought, I bought a few things. I bought a blanket and I bought some pants. Because, you know, when you're at Marshall's, you got to buy a few things. And she was like, ah, I'll give it a shot. And then she couldn't get it working. So I had to go home and smash it with a hammer. And uh, I tried the trick. You go on YouTube, you look at some videos, and you're like, oh, you just got to take a rubber band, and you... You wrap it around the pin, and you yank it, and it pop, pops off. It didn't work. So I just beat the shit out of it with a hammer, and I got it off. But there's a little, little hole. I had, to, I had to stitch that up. And then I went to go uh, throw my blanket on my bed, and I realized the fucking blanket they sold me had a security tag on it, and they didn't take it out. So I had to go back to Marshall's. When I lived in uh, California, uh, there was a bank robbery... And the dude stuck one of the, like, bags of 20s in his pocket, not knowing there's, like, an explosive charge in it. And made it down to the stream, and the thing went off in his little pocket and, like, just blew up. And they, <laughs> sorry, found all the money down the stream just completely covered in ink in his pants. Because it basically has a mini explosive device inside of it when you steal money. Because yeah, you can't just exact. rob banks. I mean, you can. You just gotta be not you bad can. at it. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know, doing it in a town of 300 people where everyone probably knows you since the 8th grade. And also, like, and... knowing that they've put ink blocks inside cash bags for the last 30, 40 years would probably, you know, tip you off. Doing it in the <laughs> middle of noon. Yeah. It's like, smallest. Greg, <laughs> Greg, you're so silly. And they're just like, no, really. He's like, all right. <laughs> See you 20. <laughs> what I'm trying to say here is that Savers owes me a new shirt. Savers. Go get your Savers to get you a shirt. I will. I'm going to go up there and uh, demand to see their manager. Excuse me, madam. This uh, this specific shirt, I want it refunded and tell replaced. Him, tell them um, that you're the manager and you want some freebies. <laughs> I'm the manager. Look at me. <laughs> Look at me. I'm the manager now. I'm the, I'm the manager now. <laughs> you all, you can all go and break. You're doing a good job. <laughs> you all get raises. Cause is this guy just giving out raises? <laughs> Look at me. I give out raises now. <sighs> Hello and welcome to episode 49 of Digital Liberations. Wait, is that how many we're at? Yeah, 49. I'm, uh, I'm Thomas. Christ. I'm the, I'm the host of this, this lovely show here. I'm the, you know the. Circus master. I don't know what that guy's called. He usually has a top hat and swings around the pole and says, Ah, I got a tiger, and people don't get bitten and fall off tight ropes. I'm that guy. Are they uh, called circus masters or ring uh, ring masters? Ah, ring master. That's the, that's the one. I've been calling them circus bitches. <laughs> I mean, it probably includes all of them. I was going to say, it's a pretty accurate description, also. Circus bitch. Yeah. I got, uh, I got, I got Brad here. I got, oh. uh, I got, I got Tori here. Yes. Yeah, Tori doesn't know how to. I mean, he knows how Zoom works. He just not not the the program Zoom, but the function of zooming in the avatar. He, he's a big. I feel like every week I'll do something different. I like this one though. I mean, that's fine. You can do what you want. I don't give a shit. I don't care. You be you. I don't, I don't care. I really wish my chat box would stop saying that it joined the chat because I know it joined the chat because you're a chat bot. So I guess it's gonna sit there the entirety of the the podcast. I don't. I'll be getting any hot chats coming in. <sighs> Technology. Chats. Uh, how are you guys That's... doing? How, how was your week? 
so far it's I broke a chair on a Monday, so if that's not a metaphor for a fucking day. Is that like I need to start a diet kind of break a chair or that no, fucking Oh, no, kid? it's like my kids fucking hang off of it, and then all of a sudden it went snap, and I was on the floor. It didn't hit anybody, did it? No, 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 we were safe. Uh, I hit the floor. It was comical. Did you I had a backup chair. Did you let your body hit the floor? I did. I let it hit the floor. Wonderful. <laughs> That's a good reference. <laughs> you get it? You get that yeah. reference? You got a core you got a Tory? Tory. Deep cuts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How I'm bringing them at you. <laughs> How's uh, how you doing, Tori? What's going on? What's new? Uh I had like a uh, flat tire today. And no man. So like I know how to fix a flat tire, right? I'm not an idiot. No. What's what's I've a fix a car of for a long time? Is that throwing in a donut or shoving in that like goo you put in? Oh the no, tire? I know how to like put a donut on and oh, then okay. take it to the proper authorities, you know? Okay. But I mean I change um, my tires, but, but you know. So the donut though, um, in my car, the Toyota Corolla, like to get it out of the trunk, there's like a little it's thing you want to screw. Yeah. Yeah. And so like there's a metal bolt and then for whatever reason there's this big plastic thing that I guess is meant to like help you unscrew the bolt or whatever. But that was like dripped, so I couldn't get the fucking donut out of my car. So I ended up having to call AAA for a friggin' um. They're more equipped for these kind of things. Tire. What? They're more equipped for these kind of things. Well, so the, then he told me that the uh, spare was flat, so it would probably like, it's probably been back there for the yeah. last ten years. Yeah, for real. So anyway, it was a disaster. You need to get one of those little Stanley portable jumper slash air compressor things. I do. My I had a really bad flat though. The car, the fucking wheel was destroyed. What happened? Was it like a shitty time too? I, where you're like I was supposed like to be somewhere. I was working and I was like at this cul-de-sac and I fucking I drove around and like I guess I hit the curb too hard or something. Typical. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm on my phone and driving all day long. I don't pay attention. Yes. Don't don't be on. Could your have been phone. a person. Could have been a curve. I'm looking at a, I'm looking at like a very specialized map. It's not like in Google Maps or anything. So I gotta kind of look at my phone sometimes. Um, yeah, plug it into your little monitor that I installed in your car. That's why I installed it. Yeah, the app doesn't have like a um, or uh, it doesn't have like a CarPlay thing. What? The app, the map. It's field maps. It's not Google Maps. Oh, it's, kind of a, it's your shitty job. Part. Yeah. Oh, I gotcha. But I, I mean, I, when I'm like around people or whatever, I wasn't. Nobody was around. I was in a cul-de-sac, and it was the middle of the day, and everyone was away. So I, I just kind of like wasn't really paying attention. I kind of drifted into a fucking curb. Okay, Robbie, right never to be near you when you're driving a car. Yeah. <gasps> Don't feel... be outside of the car for sure. Like that's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a pretty. Yeah. Uh, you're the reason I'm terrified of getting a motorcycle. Which I'm gonna do this summer, so get ready for, for that. For that reason, like Tory specifically, or just like drivers. Tory like and the people like him, his oh, breed. Okay. I was just like, that's a very specific reason that it's like Tory is the reason I don't get a motorcycle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just being around his energy just sucks me dry. So Amber hey. isn't his energy. Amazing, uh, but yeah, it's solid. Tory is more of like a. Like an orange, it's it, it's like red, you know, like warning you. But he's he's a nice guy, so it kind of bleeds into like a, a brighter color. So you get the orange. That's weird that you would say oranges are red. Well, it, it's we start off with yeah. red, and then like the the bright yellowness of your soul kind of fills it in and makes it more red, of an yeah, orange. Red. Gotcha. Red and orange kind of do live on the same spectrum. If we're like prismatically, I thought it doesn't break into red break. Or orange yeah, breaking to red. Yeah, yeah. Like my, science, sciencely. My energy is clearly purple. Amber is the color of Tom's energy. I'm not. A, I'm not an amber. I'm original. I got a color. <laughs> Are we talking about this three? Is now a three eleven. How do we keep yeah. busting to three eleven? How does that happen? <laughs> I, I don't. I don't now. like this. We are officially now a three eleven podcast, guys. What is your? Are we going to go down? 
Down is like the worst <laughs> thing to happen in the '90s. I think. What? Seven eleven or three eleven? The, the down. song "Down" specifically, like that song, is like where hopes and dreams die. <laughs> no, I thought it was "Love Song" when they covered that. I don't. I don't think I've heard that. They did it for fifty. Uh, for thirty. For is it fifty first dates or thirty first dates? Whatever it was. The Cure song. No, the Adam uh, Sandler yeah. movie. The Adam Sandler movie. They used. Um, they did love song by the cure. Yeah. I, I have never heard this rendition. They did bleed into the oh, 2000s. It, it, it's really fucking odd. I think I probably liked it because I was a hipster college student, but like now it just makes me cringe. I don't think anything hip comes from 311. <laughs> I, I think you're a, I think you're a liar. No, no hipster like... on the planet has liked 311. You... You know, it's kind of funny, though, is they're kind of like on the same spectrum as like Sublime, but Sublime is just like objectively a good band. Yeah, no, nobody hates Sublime. Yeah. Yeah, no one hates Sublime. But you know, you get what I'm saying, though? They're kind of like in that same. <laughs> they both made music that was on the radio. Yeah. Would you think of that like Sublime? I'd like almost put Sublime in like Offspring territory versus. Yeah. I mean, I like the Offspring, so. Yeah, I felt like they were more. I don't even know what. Like 311 was like they weren't even punk. They didn't even hit that. No. Like, were, oh, guys, were they on a Tony Hawk pro skater game? Guys, guys, guys. Yeah. Soul did not know who Pearl Jam was. What? <laughs> who? How's it? Soul, in the chat here, pointing uh -oh. at the chat. What? Did not know who what? Pearl Jam was. Even if you didn't like Pearl Jam, how can you go through the entire 90s and not know what? who Pearl Jam was or know any yeah. of their songs? And then it's not like what? Can we, we, can we talk about this? And how does that happen? You can't like go into a car or a store without hearing a Pearl Jam song in like 1995. It's impossible. <laughs> I don't like Pearl Jam, but yeah, that's weird. <laughs> I mean, Pearl Jam is whatever. I, I they have a few songs that are funny. He also like never. He didn't know a lot of things though, right? Or the, they like, don't... I mean, Eddie Vedder does a lot of uh, a lot of solo work. He did a song in uh, yeah. In the Last of Us, Last of Us Two. He also did um the song for the Michael Jordan documentary, The Last Dance. He's done a lot of songs for Blacklist, Doo-Wop. Uh, also, this you know, I think he did the entire soundtrack of uh, Into the Wild. I don't that know if that is. At least half of it. Yeah. People like that movie. Um, I like it until like it gets to the depressing parts because they did those really well. I don't know what Into the Wild is. Like the story of the kid who goes and he's just like, I'm gonna go turn off the grid. I'm gonna go live into a van, and then you can put it together for what happens from there. He dies. No kidding. Poisons himself or something. Yeah, accidentally eats something that uh, he thought was potatoes and ended up not. Uh -huh. They took the van out. They actually just removed the van from. Oh yeah, because people were dying or something because they were going to visit it. It was in such a remote, shitty part of Alaska, and the park wardens were like, "He fucking died here for a reason. Please stop." So they had him remove the bus. <laughs> Pretty good. For the sake of fucking God, this wasn't a good idea. That's why he died. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this week we get the Mario movie. Taking my son. And I'm pretty sure this weekend is also Easter, is it not? Have it reviews is. popped up for that? Uh, no, I haven't seen reviews. So my question is, this is the second coming of a Mario movie on Easter weekend. Is is Mario Jesus? That's a good point. Sure. Is this, is this sacrilegious? <laughs> it kind of feels it, doesn't it? Do they, do, do they fucking crucify Mario on a cross? <laughs> made out, everyone just made out of two pipes. Did they just like forget what year, like what day Easter Sunday was on this year, and then we're just like, fuck it, we have to commit to it as Mario's an Easter movie now? <laughs> I mean, I'm committed to it. That's my new Mario's Easter movie. Mario's going up against Hop Three. Is Does Mario any... ever turn into a, a rabbit in any of its uh, traditions? Yeah, you can be a rabbit in uh, Odyssey, can't you? You'd be a frog. You'd definitely be a frog. A new key. He catches. A raccoon. Uh, I don't remember a bunny. Did you play Mario turns, in it, but... Link turns into a bunny in the dark world. That's true. That's true. 
Jail That's like Harry. the only bunny relevance I can think of. Uh, you definitely chase bunnies in 3D worlds to get the, the green stars. But I think you can take over a bunny in uh, Odyssey. I'm not 100%, but I think you can. If not, we need Mario Bunny into the the fodder now. The the Mario verse, as the kids are saying. Are the kids saying that? I don't know yeah, what the kids are, are saying. They keep saying things like "dead ass," and I don't, I don't know what that means. I like live safe ass. working environment. Yeah, bring on the twerk. Ugh. Pretty sus safe kid. Work. I need to take days off. I'm like, I thought you were just supposed to have your PTO bleed over and talk about how badass you were. So did you, guys, did you guys hear about this E3? Oh, yeah, I bought my tickets. I just booked my hotel room for Los Angeles. Yeah. It's going to be great. Me and my friends are going to go. Me and Tori just put, like, a bunch of money on our credit cards. I hope you're telling me something. That's not going to make this, like, bad. Oh, no, yeah. man. It's going to be great. Yeah, have a good time. Okay, cool. I hope you're not going to tell me it's canceled or anything because I'm just falling like fucking <laughs> Why? Cry. Why would they cancel E3? It's been relevant for years. Corey, I think our trip to E3 was just canceled after 25 years of finally we were going to go. Well, how are we going to find out about Nintendo games? Yeah. The same like, the same way we've been finding out about Nintendo games the last decade. What are you talking about? I wish it was the internet or something that would tell us about this shit. I wish Miyamoto would come out with a stupid Mario hat and say, oh, like check the guys this from, out. The guys from PAX were just like, we're taking your con. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Like they, they did the people who do PAX were like, we're going to do E3 now. And then Keely was like, LOL, nah, kid. And they went away. And PAX is like, yo, dog, you do five conventions already and we don't want you to do another one. And they're like, okay, we like PAX's money. <laughs> Yeah, E3 is irrelevant. Yeah. At this point, it really, it, it felt like it, it's been irrelevant for a few years. A few PAX years. It's also years. irrelevant, right? PAX is not a trade show. It is a exactly. convention for gamers. Yeah. Capital G okay. gamers to go wait in it's lines a, to see it's Assassin's gonna, it's Creed. Gonna be, um, it's going to be relevant as long as people keep paying money to go. Yeah, it, it's not there for news or trying to make out business deals like E3 was originally meant to do. Okay. It's there for you to wait in lines and play card games with people who don't shower. Uh, okay, so it's irrelevant for me then. I mean, um, I guess it's like I think you could do pa like it used to have a lot of panels if you wanted to go see. Like they used to spread it out, so it's like oh, this concert, and now I feel like if you wanted to go do like the quote unquote PAX experience, you could go do it in like a day and a half if you wanted to just go stand in line, go buy some dice and a few things that you wouldn't necessarily see. But it's really more of a social experience at this point that you're willing to pay to get in. But you have to like really just lower your expectations being like, it's just going to be a lot of fucking people, especially post pandemic, because like I'm on a few message boards for him and the people who are gung ho for him just fucking love them. What the fuck is a message board? It's a, it's like message board, fucking Facebook group. Sorry. <laughs> That's not really better. I know. What are you, a fifty year old uh, mom? What are you doing on Facebook? It, it is a uh Reddit sub channel that me and my friends on Instant Messenger meet. I'm in a a Facebook group about a Shiba meetup every month. We we meet up with our Shibas. I saw the worst yeah. Facebook group I've ever seen today and I it was a uh, NSFW Perler art. Uh okay. Yep. People making porn perler. I mean, people make porn everything. Bump me out. Doesn't shock me. I didn't want to see perler April O'Neil's boobs this morning. I kind of do. Send me a picture. Okay, okay, I'll find it. Hey, Tori, you want to go? Uh, oh. You want to go to the next shipping meetup? The yeah. Cool. Any of our fans out there want me to make perler cocks? Tell me the size and color. Can you make me a Shiba perler? I can Shiba do 3D perler? models. I can make you a Shiba perler. All right, Meeks needs to be perlified. Yeah. Yeah. Is it all going to be, is it going gonna to be like, I just imagine it like, it's going to be a combination of like 90 year old women and like 16 year old girls. Put them together. Oh, yeah. Giggity, giggity. 
You get basically HGTV. Most of the people are like my age. Are they? Yeah. For what? Shiba owners who go to the meetup. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just thinking of like uh, Chihuahua meats or something. <laughs> <laughs> Those things? Big sales. I like myself some Shibas. And I like myself some Chihuahuas. Is there a Chihuahua Shiba mix? There must be. Be <laughs> Beans a Chihuahua Australian Shepherd mix. So, I mean, it's not too far from the realm of possibility. Y'all remember Bean? No, can you uh, describe your dog? Uh, yeah. Uh, she's a Chihuahua mixed with Australian Shepherd. She's very adorable, and I miss her. Miss that bean. It's a good, good bean. Dog. It's a good bean. A good bean. It's a good bean. Uh, what's soul sing a what to? You gotta, you gotta roll back. You gotta, be, what? you gotta be more specific. Hmm? I'm looking at soul in the chat. She says a what? And I'm like, I don't remember. Uh, a per oh. oh, perler cock. Oh, I'm, I can make a perler cock. You're wearing like, perler? Not a perler beads. Like the fuse beads that you used to iron as a kid. I make a bunch of art. And I figured out how to make 3D ones. And I'm just, I don't know. I could make a fucking perler cock if anyone wanted one. Nobody wants your perler cocks, bro. I'm just saying. Nobody doubts your abilities. Else. <laughs> if you want some other perler stuff, uh, plenty of stuff, I'm willing to. Do you know that game, make... Resident Evil 4? The yeah, one that yeah. was ported to 18 million systems and sold a lot? <laughs> Did they port it again? Well, they remade it. And then, unsurprisingly, it sold a lot. It pushed uh, three million copies in two days. Jesus! Turns out, people like Resident Evil Four. Turns out, Turns out people like remixes. Remixes. Remix. Remix. That's how I see them at this point. I'm like, you might as well just call them Resident Evil Remix. <laughs> I'm down for it. I'm like, that's how I feel that they are. It's like they're not really re. Let's just call all games at this point that when they do, and we'll just call them Final Fantasy Remix. Uh, Banjo Kazooie remix, just because it's not a redo of the game, it's kind of like let's redo some of the f stuff to it. So yeah, Resident Evil Four remix, remake four. Uh, that was a good game. Did you like it? Yeah, I, I watched oh. you play like a good eight yeah. hours of it. It was fun. I'll talk about it later. Oh yeah, we, we have so it sold a lot though. I think we have a format in this podcast. I don't know. I don't. Well, we brought it up. I thought sometimes we typically bleed in the other conversations but i get it let's go uh Sold a lot, though. is that kind of in pre-orders though too or is that just coming like straight up sales uh i, I assume that whatever turned over to a sale okay i, I don't know I'm, I'm sure it sold a lot yeah i'm, <laughs> I'm, not, so. I'm not doubting that at all because that would be disgusting if all of a sudden it was just like four million copies and then next week we found out there was like another four million pre-reserves it's just like good god <laughs> See, I like it when Capcom makes money so they can make game things like Dragon's Dogma 2 and they're like, I didn't sell a billion copies, but we didn't need it to because we have enough money. Yeah. Which is why, uh, you know, I tolerate Monster Hunter. That game sells uh, hotcakes and then makes the money and they're like, oh, let's just uh, let's, let's make some stupid shit. That's how we got Red Dead Redemption 2 is when Rockstar just kept printing Grand Theft Auto Online money. I'm kidding. They still do. Yeah. GTA Online sucks. <laughs> it's such a bad game. It makes a stupid amount of it's money. It's fun. It's fun when it works. I love rocking around the city and getting blown up by the same guy with the rocket launcher over and over again. It's great. It's the best I had some game. of the most fun playing a game, like just blasting you guys. Yeah, I liked having like the game where we used to just like all go to the gun store, choose two of us to like be on a team to each other and just gun each other down. Or like running around the Coliseum and just seeing how many of us we could just like fly into the fucking air, like just launching bodies and shit. That was fun. Accidentally yeah. setting off like wanted levels and running into the strip club with people who just got there. Tori is the biggest griefer. Tori just stabbing just you in the neck. Myself. You what? I just can't help myself. I know you're a monster. Uh, Australia is uh, proposing putting a M. 15 plus rating in all games that uh, have loot boxes in them. Although I don't know what games have loot boxes anymore. It's kind of a dying trend. FIFA. Yeah, it's just I can only think of the EA Ultimate Team stuff. FIFA, um, there is some loot boxes in the new WWE game. Gross. Um, probably, yeah, it's probably just probably all the EA stuff. 
They're in the game. They took it, took it out of for, um, took it out of Overwatch. Yeah, Overwatch is just free to play now too. Yeah, yeah. I can't think of anything that's using loot boxes besides those ones. Oh, maybe uh, no, Siege. Yeah, they have buy packs. Yeah, Siege would I'd consider that. Yeah, a, but um... Siege also lets you just buy stuff though. You don't need to go. Through no, one hundred percent. Yeah. Which is whatever, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> whatever. Oh, I don't care about the like existence of loot boxes, but fuck them. Uh, so they had the BAFTA awards. Uh, God of War won a shocking number of them, and uh, yeah, but the best game of the year was Vampire Survivors, according to them. Really? Yeah, they had a really weird pick for one of the choices. Uh, what the fuck was it? Multiplayer. Multiplayer was uh. Fuck game. Oh, Elden Ring. Like, fucking Elden Ring? For fucking multiplayer? Yeah, you can't. You just do, like, I was surprised by the... I was like, oh, cool. Tom got me Elden Ring. We'll be able to play it as together. And you're just like, all right, tell me if you need you for boss battles. Like, like fucking what? It's, like, yeah, I can only do boss battles together. I'm like... It's coming for a boss okay. battle or invade somebody's game to give them a fucking headache. That is, that is the online mode of Elden Ring. That sucks. Elden Ring deserves right, no thanks, rewards. Thanks, buddy. No awards for Elden Ring. El ugly ass fucking game. You mean ugly ring? Sure. Why you not? Played it. You should play it, man. You should play the game of the year according to the uh the Keeleys. The game that every single person was just like, so clearly my game of the year is Elden Ring this year. I think clearly. it's like some kind of inside joke. I don't think anybody really likes Elden Ring that much, or Dark Souls in general. I think it's some all like some weird, I don't know, some fucking cult that people are just like say as a joke, and they go play I fucking, fucking Grand Turismo. Dark Souls pretty recently, and uh, I, yeah, I mean that's kind of my op opinion too. Yeah. They're okay, but I'm like, there's other games that do the repetitive nature so much better. I'm like, what do you guys really like these so much? I swear, it's some kind of fucking, they're drinking the juice. <laughs> I liked Demon Souls, the one on the PS3. That was the one I liked. That and Dark Souls 3. Did you beat Demon Souls? Yeah, beat it back in fucking like 2011 or when the fuck that game came out. I didn't mean it to play the remake of it. It's good. I mean, it's just that game again, but it looks very pretty, and you can see the yeah. dirty, dirty feet of the, uh, the lady in the, in the, in the castle place. Like I don't remember. Old. If you ask me any kind of lore of any any Souls game, I'll just stare at you blankly. You can do the same thing though for a while. I played WoW for like seven years, and someone's like, "Oh, what'd you think about that sad thing that happened to the cinema scene?" I'm like, "Oh yeah, the orc died shooting the thing. Yeah, sad." I'm like it's an MMO. Who the fuck cares? It's like the original Diablo games, like Diablo 1 and 2. I think even 3, where, like, shit happens around you and you're never involved in the main story. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you're just kind of there doing the stuff and, like, shit's happening and all the cutscenes happen. It's like, my character's not here. It has nothing to do with me. I'm just kind of a side thing. Diablo 3 didn't have a crusader for, like, the first six months of the game. I'm like, so how are you going to get Diablo back in if you don't have any kind of holy person? <laughs> I'm like, you need one of those. <laughs> Not gonna oh, be the warrior. Base ass Templar's not gonna do it. All I remember about Diablo three is that Diablo had boobs. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. It happened. Yeah. Gross. Butcher was okay. <laughs> I uh, from the first game? Yeah, no part three had hooks. And like cool floor shit. What? Are they the saying the game's good? Hmm? The one, are they saying the new one's good? Everyone who was playing the beta has said it was good. I watched someone um, clear a world boss on hardcore by themselves. That was kind of neat. Um, it's gonna be it's gonna be Diablo. I don't know. There, I don't like the fact that it's open world all the time. I think too many games are relying on that. I just want plain ass Diablo where I have four friends or three friends, wherever the fucking thing is, and we can just go into groups and I can go find random groups. This whole open world thing needs to fucking stop. Just like we don't need live games. Everything doesn't need to be a live game. You can still do updates without making it a live game, guys. Like fucking Fortnite does it. It's just fucking stupid. I don't want to live in the world of Diablo. Why not? Like, I want to live in the world of Kirby. I'll see an open world Kirby game. But like these stupid fucking dirty ass worlds. Why the fuck do I want it to be live? 
and and ran. And this is from someone who has like hundreds of hours in Diablo. It's just like I just want a normal ass Diablo game. Just like I want a normal ass Zelda game. That's kind of like that's kind of weird that they're not gonna. They're sticking with this sort of format. Yeah, I don't know. What do you mean? I'm sure everyone's gonna love it and everything. And it's gonna be a good game, but like. A Diablo or Zelda? You know, other Zelda games like the, uh, like Wind Waker and shit. What was the question? Have you played Wind Waker? Have I played Wind Waker? No, I know <laughs> you, but I'm talking about Brett. <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah. What a question. I haven't really enjoyed a Zelda game since Link to the Past, so I stuck to all the. Oh, two D ones. Yeah, and I I played the new one for the Switch. I'm like, okay, this is Zelda, I guess. It's fun. That's some satisfying. One? The new um, what was the new one? Twilight? No. Oh, Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, you know what? I, they the one that you would like though is like they remade the Game Boy one for the Switch. I played it. Really yeah, good. It, yeah. Yeah, eh. I fucking loved it. Eh. I liked it when it came out, but it's it, it's like the same thing. I don't know if I need to play. It was it. pretty. It's a it's down still. Break. It wasn't. It's like nothing. It's not a good Zelda game, but I think that if you want to go play one of those remakes, you should definitely go play um the 3DS version. Between Two Worlds is definitely a so, better one. But so, if you're so, still, yeah, I did like that game. I played that a few years it's, ago. It's but not, if you're still it's, craving, it's not a remake. It no, is, new it, one yeah, it sequel. A, a direct sequel. Yeah. I mean, define direct. <laughs> I don't know. Sequel. It's kind of a sequel. Ish, yeah, ish. We'll say ish. Kind of, it's way easier than uh the other one though. Yeah, I mean, is there a hard Zelda game? No, not particularly. Good stuff. Yeah, I'm not really that. Like, I'm not really that excited for the new one though. The more they show of it, the less I'm interested. It's like I I want to play it, but stop showing me like Lego cars. I don't like that. I don't want that. It's not interesting. Do you remember yeah. Banjo Kazooie nuts and bolts? <laughs> Why you didn't like it? What do you mean? Yeah, that sort of stuff. Like I get like a certain type of person is gonna really like that sort of stuff, but like not everyone is gonna sit there and make like want to make fucking rocket ships. Yeah. Fucking oh no, idea. there was a lot of fucking adults who there was. I guess there was this. Uh, portion of the harry potter game where you could like fucking collect pets and weird shit like from the books and i knew a lot of people my age who were just like i created like the perfect pet collect i'm like get the like i don't know i it's like the gummy ship thing us we don't dig it but there's a weird group of people who just like that was their fucking jam i just said the one that looked like cactar well, what I'm saying though is like, there's game, there's tons of games that let you build shit. Like, you know what I mean? There's the, you know, curb, uh, what's the space game, Kevlar or something or other? Oh, um, space No Man's program? Sky. No, the one, no, the one with, like where you can build spaceships. Kerbal Space and... Program. Yeah, there, yeah, that's the one. There's like tons of games that let you craft crazy things. Like, I don't know, I don't know if people actually want that in a fucking Zelda game. People who like that are the people who like playing Battle Sarah, like things I don't like. Except no, not Battle Sarah. What's the, Battle Trauma? Battle Sarah is an emulator front end. Battle Trauma. Yeah, the submarine game where you just like. Oh yeah. 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 yeah I, tried, I tried playing that with Taylor. I mean, it seems fine. Some people I love that like shit. I like that game, but. Yeah, I need I need more like focused direction in a game. <laughs> I'm much rather play FTL. Yeah, FTL is more of a game, you know. Yeah. It has like strategy bits, but you're not like, oh, I gotta run downstairs physically and wobble over the switch and swing my arms and hit the fuck that shit. Stupid. I don't mind like some of the fear factor. Like I think Darkest Dungeon did okay where you add fear. It's just the yeah burial trauma is just fucking. I could not get in. I wanted to, but it was another one. Like I'm just. Gonna, it made me crave like if I was gonna play a aggressive game, I was like, I'll just go play uh, FTL or what was the um game that came out that was the turn-based robot one that everyone really dug for a bit um the other game they did it was uh give me a second blank on days i'm completely blank on the name of that it, game oh um depth into the debt like no uh, into the breach yes oh that's a cool game though it's kind of like a ch it really when you get into it, it's like chess almost it's like exactly I like, I like stuff like that it's like if you're going to be punishing make it punishing for a reason yeah that's like a, pu that's like a very well-crafted puzzle game that's not mm -hmm. A puzzle game, you say? 
If only I knew somebody who liked puzzle games. I love puzzle games. Somebody who likes puzzle games and completed all of the Luminous challenge puzzles. Who that? And all of Oberdin, 100% at Oberdin. Well, yeah, also 100% Oberdin. Who, who's that? Was that your. So. Might have been, it might have been one of our listeners. <laughs> Somebody who uh, seems to be peeping in the chat right now. We definitely played a shit ton of Overton. <laughs> I don't know. Should get that game for the uh, Switch. Yeah, it's a good game. She's like, this game's neat. And then all of a sudden, we didn't see her for two days. And she's like, I 100%ed that game. <laughs> it was Steve in the cabin. Got hit by a Kraken. <laughs> Shit was fun. I have to go back and finish it. <sighs> Fucking Kraken. That Kraken stuff was cool as shit. We were just like, oh, this is not exactly anything I thought it was going to be. <laughs> It's like okay, this is uh, no longer just a murder mystery. There was a fucking crack. <laughs> den out of den. Great A, what? great A video game. Oh, good shit. <laughs> Slap that on the box. <laughs> oh god, when the crack it appeared in that game, I was like, all right, I don't even know what the fuck to think anymore. <laughs> I thought I had the game figured out. I'm like, okay, there's some view. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, I haven't played that game. Spoilers. There might be a Kraken involved. There might be a Kraken. I swear you've been. That game is good. Tanner cannot guarantee a Kraken. We might just be... Kraken might just be them drinking rum. It's true. Maybe they were cracking some jokes. Crag yeah, cracking some jokes, like Tom said. Did you guys hear about this Roblox thing? They're uh, they're blocking ads for uh, for kids, so they don't see ads that promote uh, multi-level marketing, uh, financial services, and cryptocurrencies and NFTs. How are they going to know then? Yeah. Uh, how are the kids going to uh, know? Logan Paul. Yeah. Logan, and Jack, Logan and Jake Paul got them covered. I don't know. I'm sure some other ape company will come around and uh, start soliciting the schools outside the, <laughs> outside the break room with his jacket up and, hey, kid, you want some apes? What are you buying? What about, like, a sports game like there? I'm sure, that, I, I'm, sure, I'm sure that's also banned. I don't know. I don't know where Roblox has ads. Is it in a game you pay for? No, I think it's like between loading screens and shit like that. It's a, definitely a free Flash game that looks like new ground. Mm. My son loves it. And I'm like, you're just going to stay off this site. He's like, why? I'm like, because it's bad. We should all go to that VR world, the metaverse. What's it called? Like, no, no structure lander, the fuck it's called. I think it's called the metaverse. <laughs> no, the, the one that's like it tries to be like an actual thing and it sucks. I forgot the name of it. It's like no no bound land or something, you know what I'm talking about? No uh, Daddy Valley. Uh what's that guy on YouTube just did a video about it? Saying how terrible it is. And I was like, Yeah, well obviously. <laughs> it's the fucking metaverse NFT world. What the fuck are you expecting? I uh, I feel bad. I completely blank on both that guy and the name of the game. Let me check my YouTube. Go get the tubes up. I'm a. Uh, I'm not used to working. This this is new to me. I don't like it. How's how's the um? Folding ideas is the YouTube channel. What's what? The Zelda game or what? Zelda movie or not Zelda Tetris movie? That's a brick question. Fun. Um, they did some weird decision making shit where um it, it feels like an action movie and then they just like hit you over the head with like you're watching a video game movie just to make sure just to fucking make sure. Like it's not a spoiler, but there's like one time there's a point where they're in the movie where there's a car chase scene and then for some reason randomly they go pixelated in it. You're just like, Yeah, I get it, I'm watching fucking Tetris. It was insulting it, but it was fun. It's a good like Saturday afternoon, I'm hungover movie. Uh, or just, in my case, two in the morning. Decentral. Everyone's was, sleeping. It's the name of that metaverse game. Yeah, it was fun. It wasn't insultingly bad. I might watch it. App, it seems stupid. Apple movies are okay. It. Yeah, it was. It's okay. It's cute. I don't think I've seen an Apple movie. Um, their show Severance is really good. I like Severance a lot. Yeah, I want to watch Severance. I watched uh, the Space One, the first two seasons of it. The space one. Um, 
for all mankind. Oh, yep. Oh, is that the Did one with that? uh fucking like the, the, the guy who's in all the movies and he's like, oh, I'm a stupid guy from comedy movies. Zach Galifianakis. No, I don't think Zach Galifianakis. Oh, are you, no, I don't know. Were you talking about Space Force or something? I don't know. There was one that was like they fake the moon landing or something and they live in like a No, no, no. This is kind chamber. of a cool, it's kind of like an alternate history where like um the Soviets get to the moon before the the United States does. And the whole world changes because of that one event. Because everybody cares about the well, moon. It, it It's a cool fiction where like the, the space race just continues on past the 70s. Space so, race, like, huh? Are they sexy? So like the, they end up Allegedly. going to like Mars sooner and stuff. I've never, I've never seen any American on the moon. Joe Rogan told me that if you fucking deer carcass, you can just go to the moon that way after taking some DMT. What about that, Tori? We need to get burned off the drugs. I like that. That's a pretty good theory. That's what is good what lately. is the moon, Tori? <sighs> Sounds like um talking to a bunch of flat earthers here. I know. I'm gonna get pulled off all of a sudden like our Spotify thing is just be like what he said doesn't really mention what Spotify feels. Uh, oh, sponsors quit? Do we have sponsors? <laughs> Me undies is uh saying that they don't believe in what Brett just said. Magic spoon. Who likes paying eight dollars for a box of cereal because here you fucking tastes go. like butthole. I have not had it. I'm not paying no, ten dollars, eight to ten dollars for a box of cereal. It's not happening. If you're an athlete, I guess it's good. I should, oh, I should go to CVS. That's like oddly the best place to find cereal deals. I don't know how that works out, but they always have cereal on sale there. And grocery stores don't. It's weird. I don't get it. what. What is this weird cereal fucking conspiracy? I just want to get some goddamn cinnamon crunch and some Reese Puffs. You know what I'm saying? They make mini mini Reese's Puffs now. Are they like those Nesquik ones? Yeah, it's weird. They're kind of cool. I bought a box of them. It just feels like you need to eat. Like when you're a guy my size, it just feels like you need to eat double the cereal. Uh, so you want bigger balls then, not smaller? Yeah, I want I want bigger balls <laughs> in my mouth. <laughs> All times. Uh, sex joke. The, the bigger the balls in my mouth, I would be happiest. Who likes big balls? <laughs> Big balls. Big balls. <laughs> that song's terrible. Yes, it is. ACGC is terrible. It was one of the only concerts I walked out of. <laughs> I mean, I don't blame you. I saw them in Foxborough, and they forgot to turn on the speakers above, so all it just sounded was like... And we're like, my friend and I are just like, you want to just leave? Slight improvement! Yeah, <laughs> uh, he's laying off people. Oh... I don't. Know. I don't. I didn't read this. Oh, story we're having yet. a happy podcast. I don't. I don't care. Six percent of people getting laid off. I don't know. It's a long article, and you know, you know, rest, rest that a lot of people. Six uh, percent of EA is probably a lot of people. Yeah, <laughs> it's a big company, man. It's probably a few thousand. I figure if you say six percent, people will be like, "Oh, it's only six percent," and they're like, "You have like six million people." Who are like, fuck. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, EA doesn't any bother specific, me. Any specific like department are they saying or game or is it just like? Let's look at my word. I know my notes here. It says EA restructuring, layoff, six percent of workforce, around seven hundred seventy-five people. There you go. Uh, focus on a handful of pro uh, priorities in real estate properties. I'm not exactly sure what that means. I'm sure the article would tell me if I read it. I'm not a. I'm not very good at podcasting. You're you're really good. <laughs> I mean, really good, buddy. I could talk about nothing forever. <laughs> if you want some actually research, I don't know. Can't help You've you. You got this, buddy. You got this. <laughs> uh, let's see here. GDC are hoping to set up a hotline for attendees to abuse. <laughs> okay. It's not a funny topic, but the point where you have to set up a hotline for people to not be abused. <laughs> it's fucking... Wait, what? <laughs> the fuck is wrong what with people? What company? GDC, the convention, because because the last oh the, no, all the people came out and saying yeah we were like trying to people are trying to fucking drug us at the fucking gatherings and shit and like yeah because that's what happens at all fucking public gatherings at all these fucking things. I mean it's not isolated to games. People just suck. When there's more, when but there's when more you, salt, yeah, when there's when, more salt at your convention than there is at the gathering of the juggalos, you might want to reevaluate. It's just fucking. It's just fucking frat boys working at 
corporations. It's all shit. They're all shitty people. And the, but when you have, when you have to I, make a hotline for it, <laughs> maybe just cancel the fucking con. It's it's ah. Uh, it was like the guys at Woodstock. They're just like, well, guys, when you put fucking four thousand people in the population, four assaults isn't that bad. That's just like it's a concert. There should be zero assaults. All right. Well, going back to the last story, so somebody who actually reads articles, uh, Soul saying they are uh, refocusing on just a few successful things, which we've heard before, which is when they just started making Star Wars games and Madden every year, and they're looking uh, at the real estate to save money. Does that mean closing studios? Is that what that means? Or they do the thing where they build a giant campus and they're like, oh, everybody works from home now. And we have like three buildings that nobody uses. So they can like rent you out You know that space. the world has kind of changed and the ecosystem that we're on is like the world's evolving, which means Dave can do more stuff. <laughs> How many people are you laying off? Uh, 775. That's a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a whole bunch. Uh, the GDC thing, uh, people stop, stop being shitty. Please just stop. For the love of fucking God. If you're going to drug women, you might as well just pay for sex. There's sex workers out there who will take your money. You don't have to drug them. Fun fact, there's probably people on the internet who are into that. So maybe um, go Where find some EA weirdos like yourself. Though? What? Where's EA headquartered? Uh, EA? Uh, California. They're in the LA area, if I remember correctly. But they might be in the San Fran area. Redwood. Everyone's home. I'm sure they can find stuff to do there. Yeah. It'll have to be California. You know, nobody wants to rent there. It's not like all oh, the rent skyrocketing and it's a depressing land. Uh, yes, pretty much. On. Good fucking riddance. Am I right? San Diego's nice. I'd go San Diego's to, great. I'd, go I would, I'd love Diego. to retire there. I would love to retire in San Diego. Everywhere else, busy. everywhere else can get fucked. Every, yeah, exactly. God, How many times did you find yourself in Oakland? Uh, I've been through Oakland once. It it seemed fine. I don't know. <laughs> Didn't bother they me. They have at all. a decent baseball team. The athletics? That's that's the yeah, team they, I was on in Little League. They typically make the playoffs every year. That's just about it. I like the A. It's very classy. Uh, let's see here. Classy a. Uh, Rob Cooper, Ubisoft, Europe executive is retiring. No! Yeah, I mean, good for, good for you, mister. I, I hope you Rob. didn't do any uh, misconduct, because I think that was more in the French department. I hope this is just you leaving because you've done a lot of good work, not that we're just about to find out that you were a child trafficker. If I remember correctly, I believe he was just like, they, 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 they were pretty much had nothing else for him to do. He's like, I hey, fucking retire. That's what happened to one of my friends at work. He was like, he used to come into work every day because he was an older dude, was an author, but his like wife worked at my company. He's like, all right, Pete, we're gonna like promote you now. And he's like, no, thank you. And he's like, all right. And they gave it like another six months, and they're like, no, Pete, we really need to re- like promote you. He's like, I retire. <laughs> I don't want any more responsibilities. I got Meek this little. Uh, it looks like a rubber ducky, but it's a plush, and it looks like a pirate, and she she loves it. She's uh, she's mm, chewing it. Cool. She's a big fan of the duck. I love people who will just do that. They're like, fuck it. I'm going home. <laughs> Disney is laying off 7,000 people and shutting down the metaverse division, which is probably Good. for the best. Did yeah. that just start? Yeah, probably. I mean, Disney laying off a game division is like, you know, I tell yeah. you all this time. <laughs> they shut it like three different studios. Yeah, they did. It's like, all I right, was, guys, listen... <laughs> we're done making video games. Shutter all the people. Go, um, there's a bunch of stories of the rise and fall of video games, and if you want to go listen to a really sad story, go listen to the rise and fall of like the company that did Ultimate Mickey. Uh, Epic Mickey? Yeah. Epic Mickey, yeah. There's like Disney has done some shady shit to their fucking game companies, and it's... They, they keep going yeah. between, we'll just license out our properties and people can make stuff, and then like, no, we're going to do it in-house, and they do it over and over again, and they keep yep. shutting down all their... Like, uh, Beno Vista Studios, and they released that yeah. game split uh, split second. It was like a pretty good racing game back in the 360 era. And they fucking shut the division down. Like fuck it, we're not making games anymore. Like that game was good. <laughs> and and then jump, they like... they came back and did Disney Infinity. They're like we're done with this. Fuck it, and they closed it down again. <laughs> I listened to that chapter about like the turmoils of the Disney Infinity shit, and you're just like, this is some of the darkest gaming shit I have ever <laughs> read. 
I got my Alice in Wonderland figure, and that's all that matters. That's cool. I think a lot it... of good rise and fall of the video game industry out there, if anyone's interested, because there's hearing some of the closed behind door shit that like developers have gone through who can now talk about it with now that their NDAs are over. Oh my god, such good stuff out there. Uh, apparently, a Japanese market approves Microsoft's acquisition of Blizzard. I don't know who asked Japan. I mean, it's cool they're down for it, but I mean, <laughs> Japan, what do you think? Eh, it's fine. Yeah, we don't like people. Uh, I really like the Microsoft jab at Sony, and it's like Sony has an unfair monopoly in Japan, and they're blocking our sales of Xboxes. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> It's like, wouldn't you if you could? <laughs> yeah. I was just finding how they're just complaining about exclusivity. It's like, you own Japan. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to release Call of Duty on your system. You're not letting us release any more consoles or games in Japan. What are you, what are you talking about? We'll talk about this Final Fantasy VII uh, exclusivity, buddy. Want to have a chat about that? <laughs> Son of a bitch. Uh, Sony's a shitty company, and I hope they fail. Uh, let's see what else. Damn. <laughs> oh, wow. Sony has sucked. Ever since they became more Europe focused, they have sucked. Yeah, that's true. Fuck. Yeah, they come up with good games. Name one. Name one. Name a good game. Oh, Recently. Crash what? Crash Bandicoot was not Sony, motherfucker. It was Naughty Dog. Yeah, suck it. Before Tori they were owned by one. Sony. Fucking loser. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. I felt I bad know. about that. I don't know the Nobody. single Sony game, man. Yeah, they had, they had, Wait, no, that's Warner Brothers. Uh, they had Ico, you know, the game where you just held the girl's hand and beat ghosts with sticks. Oh, Shadow of Colossus is cool, though, then. Okay, here's my take on all of the Team Ico games, is that they all suck but are very pretty. I don't know, I like Team Shadow of Colossus. That game sucks to play. It is miserable. Controls suck. Well, okay, have you played the remake of it? No, I own it, though. <laughs> I did buy it's it. Pretty, I, I they liked fixed it. Stuff. I liked it. Yeah. And I never really played the original, so. Yeah. It's a very tedious, incredibly tedious video game. I don't want to climb on big enemies. I want to beat the shit out of them, and that's why I want to play fucking... That's why I like God of War. Well, that, that's, that was good about uh, Dragon's Dogma, because I kind of had, like, the, the shit out of Colossus climbing monsters, but you just, like do it in a speed that isn't slower than molasses, you know? <laughs> you can just go in there and start whacking them in the face. It's great. Dragon's Dog was a great game. Let's bring that back. I mean, next time it's on a sale, I think I need to go buy it. Which game? Dragon's Dogma. You can get that game for like 30 cents. What are you talking about? Oh, really? Okay. I, it is it was... not an expensive game to buy. I thought it was one of those weird games that like... There's certain games out there that you like pull up that are like nine to ten years old, and you're just like, Oh, dude. oh why the fuck is this still 30 bucks? Yeah, was, Call of Duty. I was trying to get Soul Portal because she's never played Portal before, and I went to go get a key, yeah. and it's like ten dollars. Like, how is Portal ten dollars? I'm pretty sure they exactly. gave it away for free for a year. That's weird. <laughs> yeah, it is weird, right? I was supposed to find a key for like 50 cents, and like, not nah, kid. <laughs> it wears me the fuck out when stuff like that still happens. I'm like. Okay, I remember like or DLC for games that haven't. It's like you go look at the Soul Caliber DLC; it has like never gone down. Like, come on, Namco! Oh yeah, fuck? DLC for games, especially on like Sony platforms, PlayStation oh, never it's drops. Insane. Never. <laughs> it's always crazy expensive. It's crazy DLC like kind of ruined video games for me in that aspect because it used to be um, like everyone played the same video game. Like it was kind of like. An equalizer or whatever. But yeah, like everyone had a work. PlayStation when we were a kid. Yeah. Everyone could unlock all the costumes in the game. But like now you can pay money for shit. Now you know now there's classism in video games because of it. I'm part of the problem because I love costumes. I buy them all. I refuse to. I can easily afford most I, I could easily afford good DLC though. So don't pay for it. But in the same sense though, it's like DLCs allow you to extend the game. Without needing to make a full sequel, I mean, well, or releasing that like DLC is different than say what, uh, like you guys like. He's DLC saying like of, like unlockable real DLC. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, like back in the day when you could just play like Tekken three and get all the uh, characters and costumes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Playing and, like the game. all the end. 
Yeah, right. you can't. There's no game that does that where you just unlock cool shit anymore. Like that. That used to be a fun thing to do. Is like try Back to. Back in two, having like fifty-two fucking characters. Remember Time Splitters? Like you would unlock all the characters and shit. Yeah, there hasn't really been a game um, like Time Splitters in a long time. Yeah, actually. Like kind of like the um, the less serious. Any kind of single company, any shooter. game could fucking like come in and swoop in and fucking take care of that. But like, nope. Yeah. It's because every time they do it, like everyone's just like, I want a new Unreal where we can just play Deathmatch, and then they do it, and everyone goes back to like Overwatch. It's just like the same thing with people being like, I want an old school MMO, so Wildstar makes it, and they're just like, this is too fucking hard. It's like we have this nostalgia for it, but when it comes to wanting to actually play like six hours of Deathmatch, everyone was like, okay, that's cool. It's the same reason we don't play Halo anymore. It's really hard for me to say because I'm a 35 year old man. I don't really go to my friend's house after school to play some fucking split screen shooters. So I don't know what the market value of that is these days. That's when I played GoldenEye and Time Splitters is like after school. Yeah. Like, yeah, let's go to let's go to Tim's house and play some fucking I don't know. Gauntlet. Gauntlet. Gauntlet or you had a friend named Tim. Uh, no, I was just throwing. I mean, I have a current buddy named Tim. Shout out to Tim. He may or may not be watching. I don't know. You have a friend named Tim Tory? I don't have a friend named Tim. Do I, I, I didn't. Really I did not have a friend named Tim when I was in school. No. I, knew one... I don't actively have a friend named Tim who's listening. You're just like you fucking prick. Not gonna be your friend no more. Oh, I, yeah. I knew a Tim in my class, and he was a fucking shithead. I hope I don't get like a future friend Tim who's like all interested in listening to this. And then... It's just like, oh, why weren't we friends back then? You're just like, we yeah, were. You this was fucking previously fucking recorded, friend. Tim. I thought we were soulmates. <laughs> no, bro, I said we were friends. What the fuck is going on? So no, Tim, I'm not gonna like I'm not gonna plan our wedding. What what the fuck's wrong with you? Yeah, oh my god. God damn Tim. Jesus Tim. So uh apparently people have gone online and uh started harassing the voice actors of Ada and um Ashley from the Resident Evil yeah. 4 <laughs> remake and to the point where at least Ada Wong's god voice actors damn it has uh quit instagram <laughs> oh my god i fucking hate the it, it, uh, it's Why? it's so bizarre because i thought ada was like the best voice in the game and like krauser's voice is arguably like one of the worst voice actors i've ever heard she's <laughs> also something i read was she's the first time an asian actress has played ada yeah <laughs> Oh, she turned off replies, apparently. I heard she actually like, left Instagram, but I mean, yeah. Oh what? Turn off replies. Fuck that shit. I don't want people to talk to you. Weirdos online and complain about stupid shit. Hell, it's like, why are we letting people do this to people in general online? It was like, or even in real life, this is just becoming too fucking stupid. That voice actor is right terrible. I'm really looking forward to the separate ways DLC, but I'm not gonna play it now. <laughs> you and your woke soundtrack. <laughs> there was like this. There was this girl who was a wrestler who was at the airport, and people followed her around asking for pictures and shit. I'm like, you can't. Like, you just I mean, stop feeling too that's, comfortable. That's just any celebrity, really. But still, it's like there's a time and a place for fuck's sake. Not to the like, normie. They're like, ugh. <sighs> I see famous person. <laughs> I love wrestling. Sign I mean, my that, forehead. That's your that's your first problem. <laughs> uh, yeah, Capcom has said they uh, they intended because because the uh, actress in Resident Evil Two is it just actor now? Are we drop in the uh, actress. I don't and, know. You can say actress. I don't know. I, I don't want the acceptable PC terminology now. It changes every week. Who cares? The actor was a uh, different in Resident Evil Two remake. But they said they wanted to go with the um, a actor who is of the same ethnicity of the character in game, and Capcom is notorious for not using union actors. And uh, so this new actress actor is uh, both Chinese and uh, not a union voice actor. Okay, so. I'm happy we're using ethnicities of the correct when we're getting to acting. But it's it's nice to do. I wouldn't say it should be required, but it is it, exactly. It, it, there's plenty of people who can do that, so like, why not just you know hire? Yeah, it was just like when they're hiring, we we're not gonna hire people who aren't paralyzed anymore for uh, like. I'm like, well, then that's not acting. 
Yeah, Ashley's voice actress is good too. I don't understand why people complain about it. And they just want to complain about something. Who cares? It's just a voice actress. Forget She's it. probably a nice person. Play the game and move the fuck on in life. Yeah, people take shit too seriously. I don't understand. Like, why do they complain about everything? Why is everything a fucking battle? <laughs> just, just fucking play like, a video game back and, move and on. do this. If you're going to be sitting at the dinner table and be like, hey, honey. I sent a death threat today to a voice actor because I actress because I didn't like her in their video game. Run into the fucking woods. No one's gonna miss you. If you if you want to like, complain about on. stupid shit about video games, make a podcast. That's what I do. Or just if that's if you're at the point of doing a death threat to somebody, take that energy and put it somewhere else, anywhere. Not that violent energy, but just convert it into something good. That's why we end up with games like oh, hatred. God. <laughs> I just want to live in that person's head for like fucking 45 minutes just so and then come back to my body and be like, oh, <laughs> that's why. Just let it be known, Lily Gao, we uh, we support you here over on the uh, the, the tiny dynamites. Oh, yeah. God. You think going to be on the fucking podcast? Yeah, who doesn't listen to this podcast? They have like, let the bodies hit the floor playing for 45 minutes in their head. This type of person I feel like goes and plays death threats to people. <sighs> that crowd's of voice actors sucked, though. It, it it was like stereotypical guy pretending like overacting as soldier guy, but but it's actually the voice they used. <laughs> it's it's, it's really bad. Ah <laughs> uh, man, I don't remember Krauser sound like in the original though. I don't remember a lot He's of the original. Krauser in any of the other Resident Evils before Resident Evil Four? Before no, they added him into the prequel segment they made in Dark Side Chronicles on the Wii, which was the rail shooter. The second rail shooter that made. Oh yeah, I like those games. Yeah, they're fun, but they uh, yeah. they they tell the story of the thing they reference in Resident Evil Four, like when Leon and him were in the jungle and shit. Oh okay, yeah. Yeah. That was a that was a, that was a thing that happened. I don't mind voice actors. Sometimes I'm like, oh, gross, you chose that, but. Is Ashley in six? Is. I don't think so. I don't. I don't think so either. But I could be wrong. A lot. Of, a lot of stuff happens in six. Oh, you mean person blowing giraffe? Yes, person blowing giraffe is uh, the best Resident Evil game. <laughs> I hope they remake six and they make if, it. Uh, they change the logo, but they make it even more obvious that it's a giraffe. For giraffe. anyone who hasn't looked, go look up Resident Evil oh, Six. Oh yeah, the logo, and the icon is a person blowing a giraffe. <laughs> you can't unsee it. I hope they. I hope they lead into it in the remake six. Uh, I'm leading into it like that person blowing the giraffe. <laughs> so one on TikTok pointed out that the uh, logo for five is actually my head won't reset. It looks like my neck is broken. Yeah, fix your camera. What did you say, Dory? I'd never noticed before, but the logo of Resident Evil Five is a picture of Africa. I don't think I noticed that either. Let's go look. Is it? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, kind of, kind of, yeah. The flames in the background—it's most—it's like the right side of Africa. I can see it. Yeah, I've never noticed that. It's like Bioshock Two, looking like Bomberman. Whoa! No, it's... Oh, not the logo, but like the actual like screen. Oh, like Google... okay, okay, I, yeah, I see exactly what you're talking about with Chris and uh, Sheva. Yeah. Okay, I thought you meant like the outline of five. And I think no, if no. you want to take some liberties, I guess that could be the right side of Africa, sure. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I can totally see that. Uh, come on. Come on. Thanks, partner. Good game. Hope they remake it. Six. Five. Yeah, five. Six, bad game. I hope they remake it. Let <laughs> me buy that game on um Twitch. Why? Yeah, I don't have it on you, PC. You have a Steam Deck. What are you? Yeah, you what are you doing? Can I buy your Steam Deck since you don't use it? Can I, I buy do. my Steam Deck that you're not using? I. You can buy one right now. You could have bought. I'm one just like joking, Tor. I I don't care, but I just think it's funny. Just like, I had uh, a dream. I had a Steam Deck the other day. <laughs> Dude, you need to get some better dreams. Yeah, I do. <laughs> dreams. I dreams. Dreams Man, I wish you could play this PC game on my couch. <laughs> oh, then I woke up when I couldn't. Fuck.
fuck. Oh, man. I had a dream that a job is. I guess if you're unemployed. I've never. Should have taken a break before going to this other job. I always hate that when you like take a new job and you're just like, man, I should have taken a vacation before doing this. Hmm. Like money. Same. I quit the my job. The part about getting laid off is like, like in my case, was being unemployed. I've never been laid <laughs> off, unfortunately. I quit my job in California, drove here, and then got a job the following Tuesday. So I was unemployed for maybe four days. 48 hours. <laughs> like, man, this unemployment fucking blows. Oh, back to the grind, asshole. The damn it's lucrative still... job market. <laughs> it still hasn't hit me that, like, this job I have now is kind of like one of the jobs you just kind of keep for, like, your life. Yeah. I, I have I like post jobs. I think I've kept the same job for more than three years, which is oh man, kind of terrifying. <laughs> it's like I've never lived in the same place for like more than three years. It's like I move every like of... sixteen months. It's fucking embarrassing. It's at my last place for a decade. The place I live in now is like the I've lived here longer than any other place in my entire life. Uh, you you took my room when I left that place. That was a decade ago. <laughs> your office, your your room is a computer room now. R.I.P. Broke into his old apartment. Uh, Western so Digital is, uh, is making uh, expansion cards for the Xbox series now. Nice. They used to be just Seagate, and they were pricey, and these new Western Digital ones are going to be cheaper. And that's cool, because I don't like Seagate. You can buy Xboxes and uh, PS4s at Verizon right now. <laughs> PS5s? PS5s, yeah. They and like PS4s. They have my target and shit. I mean, who wants a PS4? I'm just kidding. That'd be funny, though. If all of a sudden you walk into a Verizon store, it's like, would you like to buy a PS4? It's like, what? My key, my coworkers, like, trying to sell me his PS4 Pro for $400. I'm like, uh, <laughs> no. Like, I, I, what, what world does that make sense in? Back in the like, pandemic what? when everybody what was, was buying deal? shit for big money. Like, that, that was yeah. like two years too late for that, my man. Not to mention I have a PS5. Why the fuck would I want a PS4 Pro, which I also also have? <laughs> uh, Seems like something you'd want, bro. Seems like something you'd want. Just, uh, just look it up for you. That's all the news stories I have. I haven't checked anything new. Um, there's, there's a news story I wanted to talk about, but I can't remember what it was. Mario movie, E3. Yeah, I think that covers it all. What you uh what you been playing, Brett? Playing this game called Oh wait, yeah, did you know there's a Scott Pilgrim anime movie coming out? It's an no. Anime series coming out? Is it reuniting just... the whole entire cast? Yeah, it's gonna be cool. Is it just the Scott Pilgrim books again? Hopefully, maybe that'd only, be cool. Only Michael Sarah's not there to ruin it. No, he's gonna be there. Michael Sarah's gonna be back. What the fuck? He was terrible. They got the entire they got the entire cast back. That movie sucked. It was a bad fucking movie. Uh, P Scott Pilgrim? Yeah, movie's yeah. Just fucking terrible. That's okay. Uh, Game of the Living. I got right against too much fucking It's okay. It sucked. Um, I'm uh, playing this game called uh, Death Roads Tournament. It's coming, it's an early access, but it starts out, it's like basically Mad Max the game where you deck out your car and have to go fight a bunch of people. It starts out with your grandma going like, Have I ever told you about the times I was in the Death Roads? <laughs> Uh, so it's a really cool game. You like card building. The only problem I'm having with uh, deck building game basically, where you put flamethrowers, tacks, different like wheels and shit on the card, decking out and it's roguelike. So each run takes a certain amount of time. You're trying to kill your opponents throughout the death road. And um, only thing I don't like about it is like you can be having a really good run and then all of a sudden the computer will just like fucking kill you in one shot. And I just don't get it. But I'm As liking it. Should. Um. Finishing up Midnight Suns, I think I'm closing in, but I can't really fucking tell. Uh, that game has been really fantastic. Playing a ton more of Dead Cells because I can't stop playing Hold on. the Captivator. Back up, hmm? back up, back up. Yeah. How many times did you bone Wolverine? No, he's only been in the game once. What? How many times, Brett? One fucking time. You only and banged like him once? 20 hour, and I'm in 20 hours in. Man, Me this... and Peter Parker hung out in the hot tub together a few times. That's cool. <laughs> uh, my uh, spider senses are going crazy. 
I took a uh, blade to a secretive grove where we talked about life. Me and Blade have gone on some inspirational walks and or dates. Did he, did he ice skate uphill? Maybe. No. No, I get that. Ha ha ha. But yeah, it's pretty. Not really playing much. I um and oh, I got a new board game called uh, Doomlings that me and Katie are playing at least two or three games a week. Um, it's like you have four. Like you start out with three ages and you play a card and you're trying to basically make your amoeba the best while getting the most points and at the end of every one there's like a catastrophic event and then after three catastrophic events the game's over and games take like 15 minutes to a half hour and just a lot of fun quick game if you have a D group or if you have uh just a quick game where you and your friends are sick of something or want to do something new doomlings you can pick it up at target walmart they have a collector's edition which comes with a really fucking sweet box um yeah really would recommend it um i, I know we talk about video games a lot but this is a board game that uh my wife does not like games for the most part she's a huge balloon tower defense battle person uh she loves that game um but yeah, Doomlings. Oh, and I'm top 500 again in Tetris, so I'm fucking stoked about that. Oh, congratulations, Brett. Woo-woo. What's the game called again? Doomlings. I wish I had friends who would play board games with me. Fun stuff. If only I knew somebody who lived near me. I know, right? I'll play games with you. Only you're not playing with your brother because he's terrible at board games and doesn't understand And rules. he's sick all the time. And he's also sick all the time. All you're the time. Loves fucking board games, though. You're the fucking... Okay, never mind. I'm the what? Devil. I'm the what, Tori? I'm not going to say it. Don't say my name. Don't dox me, bro. Tori, what <laughs> am I? I want to know. You're Mr. COVID right now, as far uh, as I know. I'm like, I don't have COVID. Family members have COVID. I don't have COVID. I'm good. I just don't hang out with them. Fucking family. I, 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 to my understanding that uh, you don't get COVID pay for being sick anymore. So it's beneficial really? for me not to be sick. I mean, I'm sure it's company to company, but I don't think it's like a broad, accepted thing anymore. All I know is my mother has COVID, and they're not paying her fucking COVID leave, so, I mean. Wow. Yeah. Is she a fucking nurse? Yeah. That's fucking. The nursing industry is fucked, man. It's fucked up. If they're short staff because they don't pay their fucking employees. Crazy. Crazy, though. They go with short staff. Right, nobody, just, everybody has to work double shifts because everybody quits because they won't pay them in that fucking reasonable wage. It's ridiculous. I just assumed there would have been like a COVID fund or something. Like, not a fund, but like, I know a person who I follow online on Twitter was just like, oh, I used all my PTO already or like all my sick time on COVID. I'm like, they don't have like, so you can get COVID and not sick for the rest of the year? Is that what we're at? I just want to point out that Tori's going to call me out because I don't want to play board games with his shitty friends. All right? Uh... I, want, I want that to be known that your board, grad, but your board game friends are fucking shitty people. All right? I don't play board games with any of those dun, dun, dun. So, so you fucking come at me, bro. <laughs> I want you to fucking have some fucking reasons. Yeah, Tom's just going to come on your foot and run. I'll play some motherfucking Catan any day. Your fucking shitty-ass brother is too good to play Catan. He, he has to play, like, the thief's nimble butt clamps that are... Oh, oh my god, yeah. Games, that... He like... found it, like, Chinatown for 15 cents, and fucking... that That's what he'll play. He won't play anything that's fun. He hates fun. He likes stupid, obscure shit he finds. That's what he does. He's fucking weird. Get him on the podcast. <laughs> I want to yell at him. Get him on here. Taylor, where the fuck? Show your fucking face, Taylor. Get out of fucking bed, Taylor. Where's Taylor? Wanna... That's a great question. Where the fuck is Taylor? Tom wants to yell at your stupid fucking face. See? See, Soul understands. Soul will play some fucking board games. I'll play some board games, bro, when I come down in two weeks. I found this game in the back alley of Germany. It's not in English. Half the pieces are broken. <laughs> this is the game I'm going to play. All right, Taylor. <laughs> We'll play some board games. We, we, I just we can, want to come down and get drunk and play board games. We could play some Seven Wonders right now, but no, no, I don't want to play that. that game's fun. I don't want to play that. <laughs> I, I want to play fucking, I don't know, Netrunner. <laughs> Only I don't understand the rules of Netrunner. <laughs> Netrunner. <laughs> I want to play Taylor's, Netrunner, but get everything wrong. Taylor, it's two in the morning. I just want to go to bed. Well, we'll just right and start it. I own Netrunner. I don't know why I have Netrunner. I mean, it's a cool game. I'm the, I don't have the fucking time to spend to learn it. It's just so complicated. 
It's like when you played Atkins and Alice, like, dude, it took 45 minutes to set this up and you want to play this now? You kidding me? The game takes two days. You fuck I've that shit. A... Is that Taylor? I've never played a yeah, game. Taylor. Taylor. <laughs> we're gonna play some fucking board games and we're gonna play fucking good board games. None of your shitty board games. What? <laughs> play some mother... Did you wake, Did you wake him up? <laughs> Did you in bed? I'm in bed. What's going on? Why are you telling me again in chat? <laughs> I, I'm not, imagine like dragging a blanket and a teddy bear. Oh, oh, I can't breathe. I am curled under a blanket with a teddy bear. I can't breathe. You gotta, you gotta get some shitty, uh, non shitty board games. Is the point of this, uh, this summons? Is this, is this my segment now? Are we, are we? Are yeah, we live? you gotta defend yes. yourself. I've been talking shit about you and your board games for a while. For like twenty minutes. I was an idiot. I mean, I think it goes without saying. <clears throat> oh, all right let's do let's do my segment then while i'm in bed you're all, we're all ears buddy what are we what 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 are we talking about what what board games you're playing you and about? i will not accept warhammer as a as a response i thought this was a video game podcast well taylor i mean brett started talking about fucking board games yeah you I heard said... about warhammer oh my god you heard about coming out with the 10th edition how are you, how are you married Christ. with a kid I don't know. I'm buried with a kid, and I like Warhammer. Fuck off, Tom. What is this shit? You people He's aren't allowed to procreate. Play some Warhammer, and Tom's gonna be left in the cold. No, it's called we're adults who have like <laughs> fucking a lot of time, and you, you may think figures. this man's a loser, but he has friends and family who love him, and the hobby he enjoys. <laughs> You're that fucking Reddit meme. You probably have a wall full of anime figures. <laughs> Look at him hating on us, Taylor. That's what I do. Look at us having families that love us. Exactly. <laughs> He's just too kids poor to afford. Can't you call us call saying, me. I love you, daddy. I'm pretty sure you're 3D printing <laughs> fucking Warhammer figures, so don't be coming at me about being poor. Shut up. I buy my bootleg Warhammer figures from China. That's what I would do, too. And Please don't spring the game. Game. Really In fact, I bought some Dragon Ball Z figures from China today. Good job. I'm proud of myself. I got launch. You guys remember launch? Let me, nope. let me let me tell you about what I've been playing. Yeah, throw it at me, bro. Uh, I forget the name of it. Ash is 2063. That's it. Is that a board game or a video game? That's a video game. Um, it's a post-apocalyptic total conversion mod for Doom 2. Ah. Uh. So it's kind of like like a, a fallouty stalkery type game where you have to like scavenge for crap while also fighting mutants. Is it also? But it's Doom yeah, at its core, so you're it, still just running through killing shit and yeah, fighting secrets. Yeah, it's a first person shooter then. Yeah, but it's free. It's totally free too, and it's really solid, and the music's good too. I really like to see people charge for Doom once in 2023. People not named John Romero. Oh, I know. I mean, to be fair, they put a lot of work in this one. It's really rather impressive. Are you going to spin it off God to its own it. game? All right, if you're going to make a Doom 2 wad, stop putting rideable vehicles in it. They're not good. Yeah. They're never good. You should never have a vehicle section in a goddamn Doom wad. What the no, hell is wrong with people? Why? Remember that time they made Driver and they can get out of the car? <laughs> yeah. That was, that was, that was <laughs> an odd choice. That was a good, uh, remember, they, didn't they make Driver the movie of The Rock? No, they made uh, uh, Spy Hunter. Spy no Hunter, one, No yeah. Where to Run. It, it was supposed to be oh, a movie, yeah. but they never, actually, they never actually made the movie part of it. It's always just a video game. Spy Hunter. I have that on Xbox. That was a game. Yeah, they, that was the thing that, that happened. That first Spy Hunter PS2 reboot was pretty good. Wasn't, wasn't a bad game. I feel like, like, racing slash obstacle based combat driving game then it's, it wasn't a bad game What's the name of that like racing game where like it has a story mode and like but everything is like a dream or something are you talking about driver san francisco yeah i think so is that a good game i've kind of always wanted to play that it's one of the better driver games is the story actually like good <laughs> you did you hear yourself explain it 
Did you ask yeah. yourself if there's a driver storyline that's good? Tanner is in a coma and he leaves his body to uh, possess people. And then he does missions as he possesses people. It's as good as that sounds. Take it or leave uh, it. Fucking sign me up. <laughs> it's not a bad game. It's just stupid. It's hard to find though because I guess it got like yeah, I got the list or something. Yeah. Or something. Yeah, I mean, you, it's it was sold on disc on the PS3 if I remember correctly. So you go get it, get it from your local GameStop. I'm gonna totally pay for a game like that with money. Yeah, you should throw down some cash, bro. Go to GameStop and tell them you're looking for that, and they'll be so fucking confused. A, you're there, and be looking for that game. I uh, I went to a game store in Rockland the other day, and they had some good stuff. A lot of video games. That a, that a Jaguar? Whoa, really? Yeah, that a Jaguar just sitting there. Yeah, they're probably some, wanting way too much money for it. Oh, 100%. I didn't ask because I didn't care, but I'm sure it was expensive. Yeah, Jaguar is going for a stupid amount. Same with the Atari Lynx right now. People, for some reason, are making homebrew for that system still, like to this day. The Atari Lynx? Uh, no, the uh, Jaguar. Someone just made a uh, fucking online card for the Atari Lynx. That's weird. And that you can play a uh, arcade style racing game that looks similar to a um, super off road on it with like four people over the WAN for the four people who have the Atari Lynx. Super off road's a pretty good game. I, I love that game. I still play it once in a while. Games. The Jaguar games, anyway. What was that? I heard it's hard to emulate the Jaguar games for some reason. Uh, not anymore. The person, well, they, they did the Atari 50, that game museum thing, and uh, whoever was working on the emulator for the Jaguar made a really good Jaguar emulator, and then he just released it free, open source, at, like, at the end of That's it. That's cool. He's like, here's this emulator I made, and then they added in a Jaguar CD support, so there's a, oh, nice. a good emulator for Jaguar yeah, now. There's like, really no reason to buy them. Why would you ever buy a Jaguar? The only game I wanted to play was uh, Alien vs. Predator. Yeah, that's the only one everyone wants to play. Right. Yeah. I want to play that really bad fighting game, the Ninja Warrior one. Yeah. Um, Deadly something or other? Deadly... Deadliest Warrior? Wasn't that... Uh... Yeah. I think that was 3 d Yeah, Wasn't that the Naughty Dog one? That was another one that's like... There's one on the Jaguar. I know what you're talking about. I just can't remember the name of it. Yeah, and it's not even worth looking up. It's bad. Like... Jaguar Fighter. It was like the last game Atari ever developed. It came out with a jet, which is way cooler than uh, what we're talking about. <laughs> Did Halo Tell just leave? Probably. Uh, Fight for Life was the name of that one. Fight for Life. Yeah, that was a bad game. Uh, you also have that exclusive Bubsy game. Yeah, Love you... Bubsy. Bye, Taylor. Bye, Taylor. Thanks for stopping by. He's snoozing. Um, we didn't accidentally wake up your wife. Tempsis 2000, which is is Tempsis, just T, K, TXK, and there's also Tempest 4000, so it doesn't have a reason to play 2000 anymore. Uh, Tempest 3000 was a game on the Nuon. You guys remember the Nuon? Nope. It was a, it was like the 3DO where it was not bound to a single manufacturer, so it was built into some DVD players, and it had this like super weird controller. And it plugged into your front of your DVD player, and you played some very subpar video games that had like Merlin Racer, and Tempest <laughs> Three Thousand. It was not good, and it was Merlin not Racer. It's one. It's it's also not emulated very well, so it's like one of those things that's kind of lost the time. So you have to find a new one player, and you have to find a new one controller, and the both of those things together could be like a, a grand. It's ridiculous. It's not worth it at all. Some reason it reminds me of like the Sega network when you could go download Sega demos for like that tiny, tiny ass period of time. Sega channel, Sega you, channel, yeah. You can download full games from the Sega channel. What really? Like Maui Mallard and shit. I think Maui Mallard might have been exclusive to Sega channel in the U.S. That's crazy. For the yeah, for the Genesis version anyway. There's some other that stuff was like kind that of too. A cool thing they had. I, I yeah. Somebody uh recreated the Sega channel. What? Yeah. How? They took all of the stuff they could possibly gather from people's existing Sega Channel cartridge things, pulled all the data, and they recreated what they could recreate and have it so you can go online with it or some shit. Crazy. Yeah, it's like people who work on the uh, the 
Nintendo BSX that sets a Teleview where they have like a bunch of uh, weird Teleview exclusive games like that Zelda game where it was like the live it was linked to the past but they changed it the map around and some other stuff and like there would be an announcer oh, yeah. that was like talking during the gameplay and it was like a live broadcast of this fucking radio going over the game and things actively like changed live as it was going yep. on and people uh recreated that so you can get a rom that does that there was a okay, rom was from, it, called? it was called zelda and the five sacred tablets or something like that you can you can get a rom of it there was a ROM for a long time where it was like a recreation of the base, like the one, like one of the days where they did it. And then somebody else came along and made like a totally like recreation of the actual broadcast that would go on. It was like multiple days that was going on. There was also stuff like uh, F-Zero had exclusive levels and stuff you can download from there. And uh, there's Fire Emblem stuff and a bunch of stuff. You can look up the BSX. You know what? Um, You know what they have is that. Uh... Someone has servers for the Resident Evil um, Outbreak. The online game. Yeah, Outbreak. yeah, Outbreak One and Two. Yep. I really want to play that. Like, I just I never played that with oh. anyone. I was a kid. Outbreak was a fucking rad time. It was good. Yeah, that sounds like I I I'd, I'd stay up late to play that game. Yeah, I know other people are interested, so we can probably do a stream at some point. That'd be that'd be really cool. Yeah, Outbreak, good shit. You can do it on the emulator. You can uh. How that worked was pretty much uh, all the PS2 uh, online stuff is like a section of the disc. So you just run a patcher and it would patch your disc to change the serial number and all the stuff you need to change to go online. And then it changes like the DNS and all that stuff so you can connect to custom servers. Really fucking cool. Yeah. You can play it by yourself, but like, I don't know if it, I feel like it's not the same. Yeah, I own a physical copy of both of those games. Because I'm a nerd. Yeah, but we love you. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, there's, like, monsters and stuff in that game that aren't any of the other games. And Exclusive monsters? What? You also get to play as a like cop a... during the Resident Evil uh, the Raccoon City outbreak, but it's not Leon. He did not get to save the President's Daughter in a future game. He's a fucking what? chud. You know what was really cool about Resident Evil 2 that, like, really kind of was lost on me as a kid is that, like, you're killing cops the entire game. <laughs> Cop killer. <laughs> it's oh, my God, yeah. NWA loves this game. Is that, like, was that lost on you, too? Like, how fucking subversive that was? Yeah. Like, you're literally <laughs> just in a police station, you know. Tory to be a cabin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But you're also playing as a cop, so how does that make you feel? A cabbing before was cool. I don't know. It's I think it's like a, you know, analogy. You know, the guy he first day in the like job the, the, realizes training, the corruption. It's training day, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think those are two things that are late. Sure, if that's true. <laughs> Resident Evil Two is training day. You know, who's evil training day? Who's yeah. Denz, who's Denzel in this situation? The zombies. <laughs> okay. Fucking Wesker. Yeah, I guess. I, Irons. Yeah. Irons was a cunt in the remake. I mean, he was he was fucked up in like the original two, but he was like a complete cunt in the remake. Hey, was, oh man, when he's chasing you around the fucking. Oh, when you, oh when yeah. You, when you're Sherry. Yeah, I, was, I really like that part actually. I don't remember when I've said this in a podcast before, but you play as Sherry in six. You play as um, Barry's daughter in uh, Revelations two. Oh, I remembered I mentioned cool. that. I was like, no, I know she was in a game, but yeah, it was she was in Resident Evil Six. She has a chapter with uh, Wesker's kid. Remember, you guys, remember Resident Evil Six? <laughs> it's a game that exists. You can play it. I remember it. Yeah, Taylor wants us to mention this, like bizarre fucking steam game that we found of course but taylor found a weird steam game <laughs> that never game. happens tell me more it's called space bar <laughs> play is alias node a human detective working on a planet armpit six your assignment catch a shifty criminal wanted for grand theft oh, and murder did. before whatever it is escapes to another world oh no this is original huh we talked about it taylor I'm sure you'll come on in and tell us all about it. All right, Tori, what have you been playing? I think we've been on breath for the last like three hours. Oh, um, 
so I beat Mario Odyssey. I got like yay. But I only got did the first ending. I guess you need a whole bunch more. They want me to. Oh, get you need so stars. many fucking stars, Ark. What are they did called? You do that? Moons. You need five hundred, but there's eight. There's like nine hundred of them. You can keep buying them at think... stores too. Yeah, it doesn't seem impossible. So I might keep playing it for a little bit, just see if I would... at least get to two fifty. How did you feel about uh, Odyssey? I like playing it. I was a little let down. I don't know. That's why I never down. played. That's why I never played it really. Like I played it a little bit before, but like I don't know. I was just. I thought it was a damn good Mario game. I don't know. I'll let you down. I'll let you down about but it. Like initially, it was let down. I, after beating, it, it was fine. I guess I don't know. Yeah, I liked it a lot. I, I like, like Mario Galaxy. I don't know Gal Mario Galaxy. Galaxy is like far. one of the best games ever made. So it's really hard to top that one. Yeah. I like that I one. I've never played Galaxy. I I didn't play a Mario game. Like I never played the one on the GameCube. Sunshine, yeah. I never played that one. And so, like, and I never really played Mario 64 until, like, way after. I, I do um, not like Mario 64. You know, yeah, I'm not a big fan of And so then I played Mario Galaxy, and I'm like, oh, right, this is Mario. Yeah, that's where it started with me, too. Like, Galaxy was where they got it. Like, this this is a good fucking game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> never played it. Uh, 3D World was a great game, too. I like that style more, the 3D land and world. It feels more like a Mario game. Like, if you're going from the 2D Mario to 3D Mario, yeah. that feels like a more natural 3D conversion than what they did with 64. Um, so I'm playing, so I beat, yeah, I'm still going to, I think I'm going to, like, sort of. 100% it? You're going to go that? No, I, I'm not, I no, I'm not, no, I'm not going to do 100%. There's too much tedium in that. But I'm going to definitely maybe go for 250 or 500 of the fucking moons. I do but enjoy then, um, New Dunk City. New Dunk City? I mean, no. it's fine. It was fine. It's, it's, it's funny, I guess. Did you like the little song they did? I have not actually done that part. You didn't do that so part? How did you beat no, it? I just I got enough moons where I could go back into the ship without doing that part. Oh, really? That's like the best part of the New York City is that whole little... I know. I was kind of like, segment. wait, well, Rachel wasn't home, so I want to watch her watch me play the video. I think out of it, so... Like, right. I kind of know what's going to happen, so... Soul never wants to see me do my new Dunk City. Yeah, she does. Just not... It... No, never mind. Um... And then I was also kind of playing through a little bit of um the Ew. new Super Mario World games. The thirty like ones? I have the first one on the DS, like I beat that recently. New Mario? Yeah. Uh the only... that one's hot. the sec I didn't know there was a second one for um the three DS. The three DS and that game is weird. That's like, the I only one of those I like is Mario New Mario Two on the three DS. That game is fun. You don't like that game? That game is a lot of fun. I don't like the other ones. You don't like the one you don't like um the the Wii one is too slow. I tried playing that and like you wah, move wah, like wah. a fucking snail for some reason. Yeah, I didn't like the Wii one. I didn't like the Wii U one. I didn't like the DS the Wii one. Wii U one seems pretty cool. What's wrong with the Wii U one? I just don't like it. I, I, the Platforming feels really like sl like slippery and wonky. Yeah, the I don't know the design is not great. If you play multiplayer, you want to rip your hair out. It's very frustrating to play with other people. I don't know. Yeah, I have no desire to play it with anyone else. And then um the the last Mario game that I'm at uh, in those type of Mario games is um I want to try playing um the Bowser's. Oh yeah, the Bowser's Fury. Oh yeah, that's yeah. pretty fun. Yeah, that's a good one. I like that a bit. And then I don't think I'll be done with Mario for a while. Maybe I'll play. You gotta watch the Mario movie. I don't know. You can tell you, I'm not really super. I got. I got two free tickets to go see it through Comcast, and it's very weird. It's like you got like a thirty dollar value, but all the tickets are like eighteen bucks. So, <laughs> so I don't know if it gives me up to thirty dollars credit, and I pay the extra six dollars, or I can't do it because it's over the uh, amount. I don't know how it works. That's but if I'm if one of you want to go, I mean, I don't think Brett's gonna come down from fucking Maine, but yeah, I have the ticket I'm to go see. I'm coming down in like a week or two. We can go see Mario. I already have movies. I got fucking John Wick four reserved for fucking Soul, so I got I gotta see something. I'm gonna come too. I can be that tricycle. One of my coworkers is supposed to send me an invite for the like the re uh, the reestablished movie pass, but I haven't got that invite yet. <laughs> I wonder how it's going to fail this time. 
When MoviePass first came out, it was dope as shit. It was awesome. And then they kept making more and more restrictions on it. And then it, they, you know, eventually just canceled. But those first, like, few months of that was great. It was $10 and they could see all the movies you want. That's, that was when I started working the train. So I had those, like, eight-hour um, fucking rest periods. So I just we go just to... Had nothing to do. Yeah. yeah but yeah. You had a computer in your locker at one point, didn't you? Like, a full computer? Oh, yeah. I had a loud gaming laptop and I had a monitor. So I just pulled those out um, from the locker and just put them on the desk and play games and shit. Yeah, those are rough days, man. That's when I actually went to the gym. With your boy. No, that was a different time. I went to this Boston Sports Club. Because it's all stationed. All you, like, you got the like, gym there. You got like, I had my break room and I had the movie theater. There's not as much to do down there when you're there every fucking day, you know? <laughs> Over by South Station, yeah. Yeah. It's a shitty part of town. Eh, it's a very financial district so there's a lot of... What movie theater would you go to? The one over by Park Street? Yeah. Down the crossing. It's like five, ten minute walk, maybe? Yeah, I guess so. That's no, not far. No, it's not. Yeah. Uh, okay. Is that all you've been playing? Or... Uh, yeah, just Mario stuff. I, I'm gonna get... I'm already, like, it's already wearing on me. There's you... other games that I want to play. What's up? Do you think they're gonna release a Mario game trailer? During this Mario movie, they're going to announce a new game. See, I would be that. I mean, be everyone cool. loves, but a new Mario game comes out. I'd be totally happy about that. I hope so. It's been long be enough cool. since Odyssey dropped. I'd be totally ready. It's like six I'm, years ago, man. Like, yeah. that'd be awesome. I'm thinking about reinstalling, like, replaying Odyssey because I got midway through and I, I really enjoyed that game. Yep. I don't want everyone who listens to this, like, the, the wider audience, I don't want to discourage you from playing Mario Odyssey, I enjoyed it. Hey, I recommend Mario Odyssey. I had a lot of fun with that game. Yeah, I, yeah, I'll re- I recommend it. It was like good Mario 64. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. A lot. Gal- I, I loved it. Galaxy has its own feel. It doesn't feel like Mario 64, but this game feels like Mario 64, but like more realized. And fun. And it's fun, yeah. It made me wish it was easier to play Mario Galaxy 2. I was, yeah. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, man, I just wish that was an easy game to set up. I haven't played the Switch release of Mario Galaxy. I don't know if the controls make a lot more sense than they do on the Wii. I can tell you I might have it installed on the thing. Hmm. I bet what do you mean? Is it just because you have to use the Wii controls? Well, yeah, there was no standard controller con- uh, configuration for them on the Wii. You had to use the motion oh, controls. Oh, okay. To nunchuck Wasn't in the pointer. jumping? You had to shake the controller to jump, right? No, you shake the controller to do the spin. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was obnoxious. And then when you played as Yoshi, you had to point at stuff on the screen with a cursor to make them eat certain things. It was dumb. Just... It was fun playing, like, making the controls work. See, the thing, too, is, though, like, there's certain stages where, like, you need the Wiimote, or you don't need it, but like you need it midway. You need to like remap the controllers if you're gonna play on like a PlayStation or Xbox controller. Yeah. Oh, weird. Indubitably. 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 I have a Wii U. I own the physical copy of Galaxy Two. I could play it anytime I want. I just. Uh, it's crazy. You own one of the most sold games the of, in, of all time. No, so how'd you get a copy of one of the most common games ever made? Galaxy 2? Yeah. <laughs> I bought it when I was living in uh, Hawaii. This may shock you, but the Wii sold a ridiculous number of units. No, I think it was kind of like a cult classic. Yeah, I didn't think it was that good. Oh, yeah, I mean... You I think the Dreamcast sold more. Yeah, I own two Wii's for some reason. Like I don't even. I own a lot of Wii's because they're, they're always like, like ten dollars. Yeah. Yeah, they just end up at Goodwill. Yeah, if I see them at Goodwill, they're always super cheap, like ten, twenty bucks. I'm like, well, it's that fucking cheap. I gotta buy it. It's just a thing I have. I don't have a problem. I see cheap game consoles. I have to buy it. I'm the I'm the same way. If they're super cheap, I'll just be like, Katie, like, what are you gonna use it for? I'm like, I don't know, fucking. Centerpiece. Add it to the pile. I'm like, sure, I'll turn on. She's like, but do we need it? I'm like, mm, need or we, regret? Yes, yes, we need it. <laughs> this will change our life. I'm like, do you want to pick it up now or when I ask to come back in two days? Oh, shit. Anything else, Toy? 
Nope. Your boy is getting sleepy. Oh, What's man. my boy playing? I got this game called Resident Evil 4. Yeah. Yeah, there was this, this game that came out back on the GameCube and nobody ever really played it. So they said, eh, we should let's bring this this hidden gem out to the, the mainstream. Resident Evil 4 Remake! So they remade it, and uh, it turns out that game's pretty good. I don't think it's the greatest game ever. People are giving it a 10 out of 10, which I think is fucking ridiculous. It's not that good. And there's a lot of frustrating controls to that game. Surprising in a Resident Evil game, I know. The controls kind of suck. But, uh... <laughs> It's it's it very reach it quite a bit. It's very inconsistent with how it works. Like you'll be doing, you'll be fighting a boss, and sometimes it gives you like a quick time event where you gotta hit some buttons, and which worked for me like fucking forty percent of the time. I got hit by so much fucking shit when I was slamming the goddamn button and told me to hit. And sometimes it'd be an attack. It looks like it's gonna be another one of those, and it's not. You have to physically get out of the way, but it's really hard to discern uh, discern before between those two things. It's like, do I is this gonna be a quick time event dodge, or do I actually physically have to run? And you can't strafe in that game, so you have to like run straight and like then you know veer to a side it's very hard to control so you, you shooting a thing and then the guy's in front of you and he's gonna fucking swing a thing straight at you so you can't just like move to the side you gotta fucking fucking you know run forward and to the side the most of the, most of the time i've been uh when i successfully dodged things it was because i cheesed the d they added a crouching mechanic so you can do stealth kills and most oh, of the yeah. times you can just fire that off and you can just dodge wherever they throw at you because it doesn't, they didn't like think to do it lower. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I just like duck and it almost always work. So that's how I uh, ended up going through that game. Right now I'm playing through it with unlimited ammo and just blowing everybody away with a magnum and a shotgun. It's pretty fun. Uh, that Ada voice actress was fucking terrible though. They should really uh, harass her online. Oh my god, are you gonna go send out your death threats like I plan on after this podcast? Yeah, I, I got I got so upset about it. I I just dropped I, I returned the game. I went to Steam. I was like, this is unacceptable. Take this back. I want a full refund. I want you to fire the voice actress for this game. I know you don't work for Capcom Steam, but I want you to go and fire her and let her know that she's terrible. But How she... dare you? I already sent two mean sexist comments to her. Uh, today I'm gonna send two. It's more not enough. It's not enough. You need more. You need yeah. more. Uh, but the guy who did sure Krauser, her she's a bad mother. The guy who did Krauser though should be uh he should be the the main voice actor now. They should get rid of Troy Baker. He's oh yeah. Troy Baker's garbage. That Krauser voice actor is the fucking best. Troy Baker's too yeah. woke. Troy <laughs> who? <laughs> too woke. Like this Krauser man. Like the the soundtrack. The soundtrack in Resident Evil 4 was a little too woke for my tastes. Uh, they could have uh, really, really toned that down. It really destroyed my enjoyment of that Not game. Not enough stained. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe more stained, less uh, Spanish stained guitar. And, or Stained in Kid Rock. What the fuck is woke about a... How can a soundtrack be woke? Unless the song is like, trans rights, black people are people too. <laughs> like, how, how is a soundtrack woke? What does that Damn mean? Damn you for being sensitive I for other I, people. I don't know. I'm mocking a Steam review who said the game was too woke and the soundtrack was woke. Like, what the fuck does that mean? What does what that actually like? Is this Kotaku parody? Kotaku had a fuck. Kotaku had an article about that, and like, they they could. I don't know. I don't know why is the soundtrack woke. Why? What is? Ugh, God, I just give up. I'm gonna like, Google it. <laughs> it's yeah, like, can you Google? Can you tell me why the soundtrack is woke? It's so understand what people are mad about anymore. Like, it's like self parody. Like, what are you talking about? We don't about? know why we're rioting. I need to be the first to be racist. <laughs> oh man, let me be a terrible human being. No, let me. That's oh, pretty nuts. Somebody on Reddit, yeah. <laughs> this is this game too woke? Like, there's a woman who fixes your car. If that's too woke for you, then I, <laughs> I mean, this game isn't for you, buddy. <laughs> Woman mechanic, get out of here. <laughs> I don't know what game they're referencing, though, but they're calling Resident Evil 4 too woke and some other games that came out. Dead, what was it? Uh, Dead Space is uh, <laughs> because the non gendered bathrooms. <laughs> <laughs> Can't play Blame Dead the... Space. The bathrooms are non gendered. Blame the damn French on that one, folks. I was my my uh, space monitor outfit. I couldn't decide which bathroom to use. Oh, what is wrong with people? Oh, God. 
Ah, oh, shit. Uh, there is an update to the uh, PS2 emulator to re-add the ability to use light guns, which was removed for a long time. So if you wanted oh, cool. to use light guns on the PS2 emulator, you had to use a version from, like, legitimately five years ago, which was... Uh, Compatibility was very hit or miss, so it was very hard to play games, but I was able to go play my uh, Time Crisis 3, and I literally really like the game Time Crisis 3. It's one of my favorite games of all time, and I was very happy to play that. And I was like, yes, this is how it should be with my oh, good. with my 4K resolution and my uh, my working light gun. It was, uh, it was a lot of fun. If you've never played the game Time Crisis 3, I highly recommend it. That's one of the games where, if you could own any arcade game, what would it be? I think I had Time Crisis 3. <laughs> that or House of the Dead 2. That's the new light gun that you use for PC, right? Yeah, the Sinden light gun. Does it have the, uh, like, does it have feedback to it? Like, when it, like, it does, kick back? but it sucks. Uh, uh. <laughs> it, it works on a charge, so you shoot it, it pops, like, a nice pop. But if you rapid fire, it gets weaker and weaker. And when you play that games sucks. like how I can't think of an arcade game where you don't shoot a lot unless it's yeah. like point blank. <laughs> but uh, you, police simulator. Yeah, like one of those. But if you're playing something like House of the Dead 4 where you legitimately have an Uzi as your main weapon, uh <laughs> yeah, that that doesn't work very good. So yeah, no. I, I just disabled it in firmware. You can get a version that doesn't even have the recoil, which is probably the way to do it if it's considerably cheaper. I mean, maybe, I maybe that improved with firmware updates because I use it when I, I always like the first batch to reserve that gun. So I got a really early uh, release of it. And so maybe firmware has made that better because it's been several updates in the firmware since then. And, but I, I never re enabled it. I was like, I, I don't need this recoil. It's, it doesn't I want seem it so bad. Well. I want the recoil so bad. Yeah. I don't know. I, I want a second gun. I should have bought two when I first got the thing. I know they were in severe back order. I don't know what the ordering status of them now are. Was that during the pandemic though? Didn't they come out? Uh, like I pre-ordered it. Severe back order? I pre-ordered it before the pandemic, but I think I may have received it during it. Because I, I want to say the pre-orders went up in 2018 or 2019. Uh, but I did, I did have it in Seattle, so I think it was like 2020 when uh, it did eventually ship. Was that pandemic when stores weren't open anymore? Yeah, no, but you, you still got packages. Yeah, well, I just remember trying to go to stores and like we're closed. I was essential like, staffing, so I was allowed to go to stores. I had to pick weed up in the parking lot because they wouldn't let me go into the dispensary. My God, picking up weed in a parking lot! I've never heard of such. I know, it's like what did I do my entire Very college tactics. career? <laughs> what? Uh, These, those people had masks too. What else have I been playing? I got the uh, the PC version of Near Replicant. That uh that was on sale during the big square Enix sale that happened a week or two ago. Oh yeah. And uh, if you're not uh, if you're unaware of what Near Replicant is, it is the original release of Near that was on the PS3. There were two versions of the game. One was called Replicant, which is the version they have remade, where you are a very famished boy and you are protecting your sister. And we had uh, Near Gersalt, which is what we got in the U.S. when you're Ned Daddy Near and you're protecting your daughter. It is the same game. Otherwise, they try to make it more Western with a big, gruff dad who's, you know, somebody in his 30s or something. Wow. <laughs> Never see that 30s. in a Japanese game. Might as well be 30s. fucking dead if you're in your 30s in a Japanese it's RPG. ancient. Remember Oren in Final Fantasy X being the oldest man alive and he was fucking like 32 or something? No, he wasn't. <laughs> yeah, he's like 32 or something, man. Look oh, it up. Oh, that's depressing. <laughs> what? I'm gonna... Fucking Jesus. I'm going to walk into the ocean. <laughs> Oh, Bald Bull was 36 too, I think, or 34. <laughs> Probably. If you're if 30 in Japan, correctly. you might as well be 90. Yeah, I remember seeing that. I was like, oh, I remember Bald Bull being such like, I was like, oh, he's like 34. <laughs> it's like, oh no. Yeah, uh, well, that's how that worked. But they uh, they remade the game for modern systems. It was originally a PS3 game, and they have a PS3 360, and they uh, made it in the engine of Near Automa. Automata, whatever you want to say. Uh, yeah, it, it's, a, it's a much more fluid battle system now, and it's a lot better than it was before. Uh, they made the game a lot more drab looking. It's like colors mm. are very muted, but there is a reshade you can install that makes it nice and bright again, which I like. I like very saturated colors. I'm a very colorful person, despite my, you know, very dull and dark personality. Uh, uh, you still have the Humble Bundle, right? 
I do. You would like, I know Biomutant was like such a bare bones RPG, but the environment in it is fucking phenomenal if you want to just get lost in it for a little bit because you right. say you like vibrant colors and shit. I did read The game is very that. mediocre, but it's really pretty. And that seems to be the games I like. <laughs> Maybe I'll like this one. I don't know. I want to get to that Kenna game. I never really played much of it. Mm, I do cool. have it, but it, I, I barely yeah. played it. Yeah, Kenna and the Spirits of something or other. It was like that very colorful Pixar looking. Yeah, platform came out a year or two ago. Look neat. Yeah, uh, have I been playing anything else? I don't know. I can't remember. You did beat Resident Evil, which was like fucking twenty hours. I really yeah, liked Resident Evil Four. That game was a lot yeah. longer than I was expecting. Uh, I have something called Monster Crown. What the fuck is that? I don't even know what that is. I played some Rainbow Six Siege. They have that uh event going where it's very uh very goofy. They did like a April Fool Day thing where everybody's like gummy bears and neon colors and has like a happy little girl kind of voiceover when you're playing. It's kind of funny. It's like, protect Mr. Gummy Bear. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. I enjoyed it. I think it's still going on too. So if you want to check that out, you're able to. Uh, let's see. If I, let's click my what I've been we playing. played a little Fortnite. That was fun. I was good to play some more Fortnite yeah. again. This season's okay. Uh, yeah, the railing, the rail sliding is fun, but they don't only have it in that one section. They need to like expand it throughout the entire map. Yeah, exactly. Oh, did I talk about? I talked about that wizardry game last time, right? Like the super bare bones, uh, early access wizardry game they yeah, have. Yeah, a little yeah. bit. I haven't played any more of it because fuck that shit. <laughs> they need to update that game. Oh, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for me. I've been also co playing Resident Evil 4 original. Because I was, I wanted to play Resident Evil, but I, I was saving it for the stream. So when I was in between streams, I wanted to play. I just jumped on the original with the uh, Super HD pack, and that Super HD pack is very good. If you haven't played Resident Evil Four uh, in a while and you want to play it again, get that HD pack. Uh, my brother-in-law recently played the one on uh, the on no, sorry Quest, and he really liked it. I heard that was okay. a yeah. very enjoyable experience, also. It's one of the few if games I actually get some bought more. a VR game on the Quest. <laughs> so I own like two games on the Quest. It's that and uh, some Asgard's Wrath or some yeah. shit. I, I mean, it's a good system, though, and if you own a PC. Walkabout Mini Golf. No, I gotta get a PS VR 2. That's where it's at. I'm not gonna fucking buy it. I heard that's where I Gran, Tur no Gran Turismo is really phenomenal. Really. What is? Uh, Gran Turismo. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna buy that for just Grand Turismo. No, not at all. As much as I really like driving in VR, it's it's not worth $550. I already bought that which fucking wheel, that wheel for that fucking game, and that game was such a disappointment. My God, was it really? Yeah, the fucking microtransactions, man, in a fucking seventy dollars oh, game. Yeah, you have the yeah, fucking yeah, that's what you told audacity me that was... to charge me seventy dollars and make me earn all my shit in our a very slow, intentionally slow grind or yeah, fucking microtransactions. Go fuck yourself, Sony, you sons of bitches. Shit company. Yeah, <laughs> fuck fuck Sony. Yeah, fuck Sony. You guys just don't understand. That's what we should name this episode. That's every episode. Fuck Sony. Sony, I... Sony PS2 era, phenomenal company. Everything after that's been pretty fucking shaky. Yeah. Ah. Uh, that's about right. For every fucking fourteen days gone, you get a uh, you get a Astrobot adventure. Or the fuck that is? It's, I don't I don't like the ratio of good games to fucking shitty wannabe movie games. Which I hear I they're making days. That game was so good. Days Gone. No, Astrobot. Are they oh, I was about to say like what the fuck are you talking? I think they're making a Days Gone uh, TV show or something. Uh, that's a bummer. I'd much rather see a Days Gone sequel where they because. They left I, on a cliffhanger. I wish they would just forget that game existed and move on. I'd rather see uh, The Order 1746 or the fuck that game was called instead of that. Oh, that would be another cool IP that, yeah, that would <laughs> bring, give us a second one of those. That also ended on a cliffhanger. And that one had werewolves. You don't see many werewolves. That was pretty good. Yeah, I was going to say. It was, get a yeah, second I one of those. I want to play that game. Is it, it was, worth playing? Like, yeah, I liked it's like it. four hours, yeah, five it's hours. A, it's not very long. It's like a Victorian era shooter. Yeah. With werewolves, it's very strange. It's <laughs> never cheap. It's always like really. I, I got it for like fifteen dollars, like and that was like when it was yeah. new. I'm not gonna pay fifteen dollars for that. Just hack your PS4 what? and steal like you like to do, you fucking thief. Oh, I know you fucking pirate. I wasn't it part of that pre-game initiative when you got a PS5. 
Was it, was yeah, it not, not, one like, no, that, not that one. Really? I thought it was, wasn't it? it Sony just fucking they didn't even care enough to give it away for free. They're like, yeah, they whatever. Hate their IPs. I know. It's just like fuck the game that like people actually liked because it got pretty decent reception. Dude, nobody liked that game. I thought yeah, that was gonna... yeah, I like I this. Really... See, I, I don't know, man. My taste in games is like the opposite. It got me. It got pretty good reception. It, like, didn't get the best, but it didn't get shitty, if I remember. It was good. Yeah, people were just like, it was short. I think I, that was the biggest fucking concern. I legitimately played it when it was new, so it it was a long time ago, and my memory is fuzzy. But I remember liking that game. I think people were pissed because it was like one of the first full price PS4 games that had come out, but like, it was short. And that was it. Was the same thing with um that ro- that uh mm. Troy game for the Xbox that everyone that I thought was pretty good. Rise, Detroit? I think. Detroit become human. No, uh, oh rise, Troy. rise, yeah, rise, son of Rome. That game, that game was fun. It was a hack and slash. It was goofy. Exactly. Yeah. That's all you needed. Make more of those. Yeah. Oh, it's getting late. I'm fucking tired. Yeah, I'm ready to go past. Yeah, I was gonna it. say let's uh call it. Let's wrap this shit up, boyos. I don't know. Talk about video games, I think. I like talking about video games with you boys. I got Taylor to wake up, and that was funny. That was hilarious. We need to make that a <laughs> I got every week. I mean, yeah, Tori did, did do uh, go out to work there and got Taylor, and he's like, I can make fun let's, of him. Let's do that every week. <laughs> I guess we just drag Taylor out. I solely we'll, we'll played. Start doing it at random nights. <laughs> I think Soul played the order. I think that's what uh, they're referring to. Taylor, I know you just went to bed, but wake up and tell us your fucking standing reviews for any of the boomer shooters you're playing. That Warhammer uh, boomer shooter looks pretty good. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I'm excited about that. Me too. As much as I dislike people who actually play Warhammer tabletop because it's so fucking dorky, I love Warhammer video games. What game was good? Uh, just Warhammer games in general. Yeah. The, there's one coming out as a boomer shooter. It looks really, really good. It looks fucking oh, yeah, great. Kind of cool. I got that VR game, the Battle Sisters ones. I have not played it yet. I should play that. It's on my list. Yeah, I think I have it too, actually. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end this stream. Yes, let's end the stream. Good night, everyone. Thank you. Stay safe. Hey, See you guys next week. Thanks for all your support. Join the Patreon. Yeah. I don't have a Patreon. Um, yeah. You have a Patreon? Yeah. That's yeah a let's, joke. let's let's uh <laughs> let's support me in the Patreon. Let's get a Patreon. Yeah. I think I need to make content before people pay me for content. Let's try to get people to pay for our content. Let's check. People pay for content. (laughs) Good night, everyone. Goodbye.